and I can't like do any bits at the start of a stream anymore because we're we're gonna lose it. It's gonna it's gonna do the drop frame th frames thing, and I'm not gonna be able to like I'm gonna have to do the bit over. <laughs> Unless I reference the fact that we drop frames, then it'll work perfectly. Well, just just plan on it not like oh is it is it actually working? Yeah, no, it's fine now because because oh. I opened the stream talking about it. Drop bits, drop frames, and then nope. You gotta you gotta train your mind. You gotta train it, or maybe or maybe the gremlins just like just like playing a trick on you. Yeah, it's the, the stupid yeah. fucking house goblin from Takahashi. <laughs> Big baby. We're watching the Rumiko Takahashi anthology, which is like a pretty unknown animated adaptation of several Rumiko Takahashi short stories, and they're very hit and miss. Yeah, when it when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's like it's like watching Ranma. Uh, the la last one we saw was kind of bad. It was just this baby goblin facilitating like a miscommunication between this housewife and her mother-in-law. That, that's what Takahashi loved is her wacky miscommunications. Well, it's not wacky. The the poor the poor no, woman was crying. It was at totally the undeserved because that's the she thing you want to watch in fiction. She was sobbing and being like, "Your mother-in-law hates me," and I'm like. Oh, uh -huh, this is funny. Or maybe it's not funny. It's supposed to be dramatic. It's like it's weird going from like wag, like comedic, like that kind of like comedy to like just I don't know. That was that's my least favorite part of like comedic movies where they're deciding that, that bad things to happening to good people. people. Yeah, I don't, you know, funny. The only, time I, the only time I like that is if people are doing smash tournaments. Anyway, Sly Three. Hello. Yeah, we got a couple. We're people. still. Yep, yeah, we're still in France. If you guys are coming from the Smash stream earlier, then welcome. This yep. is Jack. I usually stream with him. Yeah, I uh, I have better internet now, so I'm not. I'm, I might not cut. That's right. You were constantly cutting out the previous. Yeah, I know what you did. That was a joke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah we... Jack now has like actual cable internet, so yeah, Comcast, hopefully he has his own set of problems. But hopefully they don't rear their ugly head in the big wicked city. Hopefully, no more voice cutting out. Uh, I am the one playing. We're at yep. the end of chapter one, and neither of us have played this before, so we're totally blind. Also, Is apparently you were right. They just don't flinch, but they do take damage. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of damage. It's like, you know, punishing... How you punish stealth, you make them invincible, that's boring. At least with Metal Gear Solid, if you wanted to go loud, they, they, there weren't enemies that were, like, you know, in, immune to bullets. Bullets don't work on me. <laughs> Bullets don't affect me. You. Was... Oh, Why? From... Just because you're. That was from the Punisher. That was the boss battle against the Russian. The and Russian. Could... The Russian. Yeah, there was a pet character in Punisher lore called the Russian. Guess, guess where he was from? Czechoslovakia. <laughs> he was great. He wore he wore like a red and white uh like shirt. Like he was like some kind of sa old school sailor. He was like swole. He like beat up like a bunch of Delta Marines. He's wrapped a guy around, like a like stripped him naked, wrapped a gun around his neck, and then he ran away going, "Mommy!" And then he loves Spider-Man. Apparently, every country loves Spider. Every country has their own Spider-Man. Yeah. Is there a Someone Russian Spider-Man? Unknown. There's a uh, Turkish Spider-Man and an Italian Spider-Man. He was a dick. Tur no, no, I think it was got to reverse. Turkish Spider-Man no was evil and no demolition oh. demonstration. True, but to finish the job, we'll need to take out the main tar vacuum. Use your disguise to gain entry oh, yeah. to the opera house. So head down to the, the Italian Phantom of the Opera, no which, problem. as we all know, it's takes place awesome. in Italy, is uh, he's polluting the River Sen. Sorry, not Sen, Italy, with the uh, ick. Why? I don't know. Because he's evil. And not going this way. Because usually if you're polluting something, it's like a byproduct of some other thing you're doing to make money. You're just not polluting water for the sake, for the hell of it. He's fighting the woke agenda and their lies about climate change, Jack. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There were those fuckers that were like, that like have coal rollers on their vehicles. Just, just out of spite. So, so I, I stand corrected. Some people really are that fucking petty. Your Florida is, uh, they've banned lab-grown meat. 
for no well, reason effectively no reason why <laughs> i'm guessing it's because it, it's because they don't trust that that lab grown meat won't like contaminate them with fucking like or, or anything well conspicuously like, one like, of their legislators is like big in the in the beef industry yeah gee i want uh, yeah that makes uh, that makes sense i don't like it but yeah it's just like why why don't you want lab grown meat because i, I, I because it's affecting my bottom line yep thank you where am i going up, up there I'm i guess there. We're, we're not usually this political don't, don't don't worry this won't keep up i don't know why you mentioned it why, why do we mention it just because of the, the tar thing ick. yeah yeah. I keep forgetting my button circle is the steel button. The steel button? Yeah, the, the rock oh. button. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm not allowed to kill the guards. Okay. Now you are. Oh, you gotta use your disguise to get in the opera house. We were just going. We were going off on a tangent, and we. Yeah. And we... Whoops. Sorry. My bad. Here. Stealth mode. Uh, there's my disguise button. Remember when Nathan Explosion was governor of What's up, Florida? House password? Here's the password slide. I mean, it couldn't have done worse. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano. Yep. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> don't be wrong inside. The boss's opera recital is about to start. I feel we need to go to purple alert. I want one of these guys to just sound like Mario. Just straight up do the falsetto Stay voice. In disguise here or the operation's a bust. I, I still want the like my I still like my idea of uh of Mario and Luigi doing their like normal Nintendo voices, but when but when shit goes down, they switch to being me the daytime a password. What like New York Here's Italian? Yeah, Luigi, we need to get serious. Let's go. Alto, alto. Base, base. Okay. This is not a very elaborate game mechanic. It's just Simon says, but you, and and you, you only have four at a time. Opera. It's so easy. Yeah, like it would be easy when you had. Watch the midnight password. Sending password now. I'll go base, I'll Thankfully, go I am a Pokemon, so and I can remember four things at once. The boss has been a practicing for months for this a day. He Hello, children. I just realized that 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 cat had like a real had like a cat mask on. Oh, she wants his identity. I don't know. As I expected. Here you go. It's actually a Wombax. <laughs> Soprano, soprano, oh. bass, bass. Yep. Into the catacombs. You know, the Italy so you, catacombs. Not Paris, Italy. So you have Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper, Drag and they both... A uh, double button door! I, I, I'll think of something. Just give me time. Oh. Oh. Did I mess you, up? Was I supposed to stop? I don't recognize you. What's the secret soprano password? Hello, elf. Uploading you the password. Tenor base, tenor, tenor. Okay. Pass a word to the rest of the guys that under no circumstances am I to be disturbed during my big comeback recital. Yes, sir. I'm certainly looking forward to the performance. Oh, once I'm done in the pump room, I'll be headed out to the stage. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, would you help me with this double button security door? But of course. Well, <laughs> it would be a pleasure. That was easy. <laughs> On a three. One, two, three. The hubris. Again. On a three. One, two, three. Again. <laughs> On a three. One, two, three. Again. <laughs> okay, that's all he says. On a three. One, two, three. Be quick in there, you won't want to miss out. <laughs> what are we uh, talking about? A lot of things. Uh, what do you, what do you oh, want to talk about? There's still stuff going on. So as far as I know, this is like the big finale of the chapter. This is the final everybody is involved mission. Nice to see you, pal. Yeah. Except for Murray. Murray, Murray took a file of nonviolence. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. You ready with the bombs? Once I've destroyed all six tar pipes, the vacuum should start to lose suction. Look, if those bombs attract any guards, let me do the fighting. You just focus Where's on taking the out the tar Where's the sewer horse? Asks Darian. <laughs> <laughs> I like, Remember when we were first watching that? You and I pointed out, and you're like, I genuinely did not 
forgot he got his sewer horse. That was my second or third time watching the movie is when I showed it to you. I just, I didn't occur to me how strange it was that he would have a horse in the sewer in the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I liked it. I just, I, but I also realized that most people don't have fucking horses in the middle of a sewer. Like, cops have to go down there to track a criminal in real life, and then all of a sudden, there's like a... F okay, you got it. Looks tough. Might take some more bombs. What? Oh, okay. We've got company. Just stay Your own on those bombs could damage you. This could get hairy. Oh, I have I have a wheelchair attack. That's nice. Yeah. You, 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 okay. I, I I I don't blame you for thinking that as, as in a wheelchair. Well, By the way, didn't uh, he didn't have a. I guess he did have a melee attack in the last game. He smacked people with his crossbow. I just I killed myself. Yeah, because you you don't know the first thing about it. you don't know the first thing about explosion safety. So anyway, what was I? I was gonna mention something about Bentley. Tough. Um, might take some more bombs. So Bentley, like most people, if they get crippled, it changes their lifestyle. They have to adapt and they kind of feel resentful. But no, Bentley is like I've shedded my my normal my. My corporeal form, and now I am. I have become God Bentley. I am a bionic commando. Didn't Static Shock have like a wheelchair sidekick? Uh, wheelchair sidekick? No, they had a, they had a guy who was just a normal. A normal. Like, well, he didn't have powers. Um, at first. And he's and then he just gained like a, like. Like it, he became a super genius because of the latent effect on like what caused Static Shock to have his abilities, and uh, and and he, he just kind of rolled with it. He's like, "Oh, this is so cool!" I'm air bombing. Air raid siren. Just one pipe left. One pipe left. Yuck. Is that gonna be- just leave them behind me as I go? They'll take out the enemies. Nice work, God, why are... Is there still time to catch Octavio's recital? We're right on schedule. If my calculations are correct, he should be about to perform an aria originally written as a duet. That's when we strike. An aria He's performing a, a duet, duet by himself. Hey, the ego on this one. Ay, ay, ay. Think he'll really let you on stage with him? Of course, he's a musician. He'll be overjoyed to have a lyrical counterpoint. Just be ready to drop the chandelier when I've lured him. <laughs> We're dropping a chandelier on in Italy, not Paris. Maybe they're like we're gonna do France, and then somebody uh, late in development, somebody informed him, "Hey, we did we did France and Sly too." Oh, well, fuck it, do it anyway. Just say it's Italy. Ah, Mr. Oh, no, he is... for Eliza, you got a death wish. I couldn't resist showing you up at what you treasure most: opera singing. You're a vocalist. Fine. The, I mean, can't you tell from his beautiful tones, his dulcet turtle to voice. To be fair, he's the best voice actor of the crew of the original crew so okay, far. Yes, so that's true. Yeah. <laughs> also, for those of you who have no idea why we're joking about this, a chandelier crash is like a, a major event in Phantom of the Opera. In the Italian Phantom of the Opera. Look that up, actually. Are you doing it? Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Game. <laughs> it's so robotic. <laughs> Gameplay! <laughs> It sounds so wrong. It is, yeah. La, la, la. La, la. 
Well, they're doing Phantom of the Opera stuff uh, in uh, Italy. There's nobody here. Am I supposed to be holding these? It's not penalizing you for... Did you hold it that time? I did, yeah. Is he gonna kick him? This is as stupid as trying to beat John Basson at Lumberjack shit. <laughs> at the very end when... when <laughs> I'm remembering the very end where they disguise themselves as the judges. Because they realized they couldn't beat him at his game. And it was stupid <laughs> to try. Total Looney Tunes shit. That was the most ridiculous chapter of fucking Sly 2. That, the Hall of Saws, the Polar Bear Tooth thing. That game jumped the shark there. Beautiful. Now! What? No! Wait, that whole operation was just to lure him directly under that small chandelier? Oh. All this we elaborate planning just for that? We dropped a chandelier and it did, 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 did no effect! Surely we could have found some easier way to cause him brain damage. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, you know what? This chapter is redeemed. We, we get to shoot him in a boat again. We're, we're gonna have to pickpocket Carmelita, aren't we? Sorry, Cooper. This time I've got you surrounded. Or he could have done it the entire time just because apparently he's a roaming NPC. So yeah, you just go, you find her, you pickpocket her. Can you go any faster? This is it. Shoot out his engine and we'll have him. The canal is full God. of We're in big Do you think like here. the voice acting is is kind of like affected by how we're running it? No. No. It's not- if it- if it were, we would know. It'd be like Tenkaichi 2 again. This is weird. You can board, board me, Carmelita. Is she blind? What a sweet talk. Like how how does she, she never tell what's going on in these situations? She's just like Uh-oh. Police boats. You know what she is? She's like red herring in the Scooby-Doo show. Now I guess it's the opposite. She's like Fred, uh, who always thinks it's red herring. I forgot about that. That the, the most pointless character. I am red herring. We all know no one's gonna suspect me. I'm an asshole. Wasn't it that, that, that it was a, uh, it was a pup named Scooby-Doo, the one where they were all kids and shit? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah. It's gotta be our, our, the bully, Red Herring. Oh, we got close. <laughs> oh god, that was terrifying! <laughs> Voice acting is a bit different from 2 to 3, but it's way different from 3 to 4. Oh, it gets worse! Well, they got great a while to be Carmelita, how's that worse? Oh, you're, you're talking about 2 3, okay. No, he's talking about, like, 4. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're talking about, like, it gets... Wait, it, so, so the 4 is, like, worse than 3? It sounds like that's what Elf is saying. Oh. Man. Man, I wanted to hear Azula Carmelita. That would have been amazing. Just... <laughs> Sly. I'm going to fucking kill you, Sly. I don't think we need to stream for. I'm cool just not doing that one. You're really, you're really dreading for, huh? I mean, I haven't heard good things about it. Uh, I heard there was like, there was like a plot twist in four involving a character from three, uh, from three that people just did not like. Is it a plot twist that like made them like the character less or more? Uh, uh, about the same. I, I don't I don't know fully. That would require like spo like spoilers on a character we haven't met yet. Yes, he's out of control. Get ready for a sudden stop. 
It's weird because because Sly is in the first two sounded kind of suave. Sly in three sounds like he's barely post pubescent. You idiot! We are gonna crash! It's so weird. Like, like it sounds it it sounds so off. In Sly One, he was like just whispering too much. Sly yeah, Two got it right. Sly beat. Three, he's just kind of talking. He doesn't sound stealthy at all cops. in this you one. Chase me for yeah. this. Fine, big shot. It took me six months to prepare this thing, but what the hey? I got more where this came from. You guys see that boat go out of control and jump and smash into that thing? Destruction. So cool. You think that was a cool punk? <laughs> you monster! Stop it! Stop it! Again, oh, no. not part of like an evil group or anything. They, they, this guy has no part of like a greater scheme. He's just here. And we're I, here. I vowed to my guru that I'd renounce all violence. And the water is still black. It'll be clear any minute. Trust me. Now, let's take him. You're right to be a scared hippo. You're I've never seen somebody move that fast. You just kind of meander towards him. Hurry. Help. That does it. I'll floss my teeth with your spine. So first one he used ca a coward, and the second one the he became. Returns. Hey, kick his ass. He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. He's too That's fast. It's what it's it's like they're saying things but not showing it to us. Oh, whoops. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. What am I doing? You're fighting. You're luring him into the tar, and then you're. Well, he's no. Hit him now. Oh. He's. He's in the. He's in the. Okay. Okay. So when he's doing is that's his Dark Souls wind up. Yeah. The valve's empty. I'll crack another. Okay. He's gonna be fast again. He's too fast. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. I I, I can get like a hit off before he does his thing. Go for it. Can I, like, pick anything up? No, I just broke it. Whoops. Nice. What was his pickup? It was the circle, maybe. Yeah. Oh, hey! Pelted with furniture! It's dry. I'll unlock the next one. Ow. No, give me heart. Wasn't much of a... I'm wow, ready. we barely Good damaged ahead. him. Yeah. What is he, a wolf? He's tough. <laughs> tough. Tough wolf. So, so Elden Ring has, in addition to having like the monsters it usually has, it also has wild animals. Yeah. Moving to the next. Part <laughs> so, you, so you can like fight wolves and bears, and a bear, you think it'd be tough, but it's not tough. Those rune bears, on the other hand, are tougher than most bosses. <laughs> I'm just thinking like. I think the reason why I like that one, uh, the first boss, Udwalla from uh, Majora's Max, so much is because it feels like fighting a Dark Souls boss. He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. So we're all concentrating hard on this boss battle. No, oh, I heard you. I know that. I'm just. It sees a damage sponge. Maybe, maybe. Maybe you try more tactics than just like throw it, like throwing punches. Or maybe is that what they want you to do? They just want you to just do this fight them hard style. Well, I guess because they haven't taught this us about out. the. Well, They're we have to do it when the tar is active. But other than that, they haven't taught us about the throwing thing. And when the tar isn't active, he just All deflects it. Let's see how much damage it does when he's like tarred. Damn it! it, it... <laughs> uh, 
Did you throw him in the water? I'm gonna get it now and I'm gonna run out of time, so now I gotta wait for the next cycle. This tar valve's dry. I'll open another. Hang tight. What if you could pick up Bentley and throw him? No, not enough games let you throw allies. It's just Donkey Kong 2 that does that. Uh, oh, uh, Tomorrow RPG, uh, you have an item called the Hurley Glove, where you can throw Mario at an enemy as Bowser. There we go. Ah, he just deflects it! Yeah, Give me, like, mul him. multiple ways to fight the boss. Do you have access to a ground pound? Yeah, Thunderflop! Thunderflop! See, that does so much damage! Moving to the next tar valve. Does it deal damage to you, though? I couldn't tell. Oh. Let's try, try that time. Ready with the tar. Maybe this happens in Phantom of the Opera 2. Oh, like, they go to two. Italy and, he, and he, he fights them in a tar pit. Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. What was the Follow actual Phantom sequel called? Love uh, Never Dies or something? Yes, and, and people don't like it. I want to... It takes place in, like, Coney Island or some shit? Yes, he moves to Coney Island. I think, okay, no, you're going the right way. <laughs> Can you run? Is there a dash? Well, I could, but I need him to follow me. He... Sneaky Aboriginal Murray. Aha, I fooled you! trying to block me i've seen i've seen uh, like a like a fight scene in a tar pit well actually part fight scene while everybody's covered in oil and transporter uh, can i get him in the traps y y you ever you ever see jason statham like uh, like covered in oil and like fighting people while shirtless no because i have sounds like a good time you were there you were at the tar pit why are you backtracking ah uh, oh, yes you're... uh it didn't do anything yeah i figured it wouldn't it's a boss battle this is a this is a two thousands game. They're not thinking like that. This is the aspect of game design where everybody goes. You may have a you gotta beat our boss our I'm way. Holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song, but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. Quit talking, a stupid kid, and die. Kid. Hey, do the do the. Oh. Ow! Okay. He's not in the tar. Is he avoiding? Okay, there he is. He's stuck in the tar. Go for it. It's dry. I'll unlock the next one. How come I don't get stuck in the tar? Because you're the Murray. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good answer as any. I mean, what do you, what do you want me to say? Like, I. How come he can flop me, but I can't flop him? Because cause it's, it's too obvious. He's too fast, even in the tar. Man, I thought we had this. I'll crack another. You know what? If you think this boss is hard, you should try fighting like. Uh, the tar is like ready to blow. Lumina, the blade of Mikula. Wait, you want to see people that are like way too fucking fast? Like one of his moves is just him. Is it trying to like discourage me from doing the the punch? Because he keeps like breaking the combo. I think this is just. This one's out. Okay, you can't I'm do that. To another valve. I think. I think. Uh, I think. Oh, you got it! Fuck off, game! To the tar pool. That should slow him down. I don't like this boss. I'm gonna say it. This boss sucks. It is, it is like, kind of, uh... Kind of, like... Unclear. Like, what, what you're supposed to do. It's like, the tar really doesn't really give you that big of an advantage. I think so, you should stop doing that because you take damage every time you hit him with it. Yeah, so it hurts both of us when I do that? It's dry. I'll yeah. the next one. I don't think you should do that. You should just. I'm Elf ready. says we just need to punch him more. 
Yeah. Okay. We'll punch. And then, when, and then when he seems like he's about to attack like that, just you gotta jump away from him. Well, he does it as soon as I start punching him. Here you... It's weird. Yeah, he was he was obviously going to like attack when you started punching him. You gotta disengage if he's like if he's like uh, if he looks like he's about to like swing his his fist or, or leg. I know, but he always does it as soon as I start punching him. Like me, my first punch is always his trigger to counterattack. Then then hit a couple punches and then back the fuck off. That's what I was doing. And he said I wasn't punching him enough. Well, Elf, uh, you're... <laughs> don't get greedy. Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. That's the worst line delivery yet. I'll crush you boys like a bug. Like, also, you're up. You're up. Are you right way? I don't know. Wait, you... Okay, you just move in and you're... Well, yes, I'm trying to get away from the person who wants to hurt me. You can do that pretty easily. You don't... How come he's immune to being put to sleep and lined with explosives? Works on everyone else. It's because he, he took... It's because he trained himself by curling himself down like beds of rocks or increases toughness and then he, uh, he eats on caffeine. have more tar. But I'm not holding back no longer. His blood is Listen coffee. To the song of your death. The this is Italy, not Spain. No song, but the triumphant horn section of his own. What do they the caffeinated drink? Do they drink in Italy then? I don't know. And I... I guess you're right. Coffee is like popular Italian drink with Europe. caffeine. <laughs> cappuccino. He's his blood is cappuccino. This is like a fucking Souls boss. Moving to the next target. But just how much he's got, like, how much he's aggressive and how much he's just, like, going after you. I'm not getting it. Ready it's not fun. I, no, it's not It's not well designed. Because when, cause when Souls does it, there's, like, opportunities to, like, stagger the, the bosses. There's, like, there's you, can, you have a dodge roll. You don't have a dodge roll. If you had a dodge roll, I'm sure this would be a lot more fair. I need to. I need to spend several levels at it, like leveling it up. It's like Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2, you don't wait. Before yeah, it actually dark... does anything. Yeah, dark, one of the things about Dark Souls 2 that people don't like is that you have to level up your dodge roll and like add frames to it. This tar yeah, that's dry. that I'll sucks. I don't. I don't like that because like imagine like also nerfing your dodge roll like you're. You're one of your primary, like, uh... All set with the tar. That just, you know what that makes it? That means that, that, that the only meta would be blocking with your shield, and that's not fun. Like, I used to do that when I first started playing Dark Souls, and then, and then I just realized, wait a minute, dodging is so much better. But then again, I think the most broken, like, dodging, dodging was the one to, please don't die! Please don't fucking die, thank you. So that's it. The old god's out. And a new generation steps in. He That's can't be right. that fucked up. He's Step still singing. Big time. Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. So, the baboon dude, that can't be the final boss, right? Are we just going to work our way back to the intro? Yes. We're also going to recruit more people to just... With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. <laughs> it about was touch like and that. go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Drinking a cappuccino. cappuccino. Octavio wasn't so lucky. The guy got 30 years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the clink. But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Once he put on those gloves and that mask, 
it was clear to everyone, oh, man. most of all him, that the Murray had returned. I, I want to see him just kick it ass as Aboriginal uh, Murray. Why does he wear the mask? Like, yeah, I know to hide his identity, it's but he, cool. he uses his name. He calls himself the Murray. Well, it's cool. Like, imagine he got a luchador and, and he just goes by, like, Bill Johnson or whatever. Down under. Oh, hey, we're going to his homeland. Or, sorry, the place he was training. Yep, I'm playing video games. I, too, am playing video games. At first, it I three. just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. <laughs> it's re that's really why we're going back. All right. So we need to pack up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, Colorful. and headed. For Sweet, the uh, Tony Hawk <laughs> slider. <laughs> it's cyber slide. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream. He's going to be a fraud. He's going to be the bad guy. And even gain mental control over the weak-minded. Mind control. What if what if we get him to join us? Stories were true. Then this was a guy I just had to meet. They did mention having like a voodoo dude in the final team. He's the voodoo guy. It's like Luffy building his crew. Outback mystic was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. Yeah, they're gonna recruit him. He's gonna they're gonna get a mystic on their side. It was a shock to find that things had changed. They're strip. Okay, we need to and take down a strip mining outfit. Was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> so he's the anti-pollution guru. Yeah. Remember that time that a bunch of people were like strip mining Africa, and then tails went there. And he called all the animals idiots, and the day was saved. <laughs> you fucking morons! <laughs> Sonic X had some weird episodes. Sonic X was great because of those weird... That, and then fucking Sonic 9-11, and then... Uh, Sonic Tree crashed a plane oh! into the White House and to save the president. And don't forget about the weirdest apocalyptic event ever, the tree apocalypse. That was a plot point. We're gonna blow everything up? No, we're just gonna cover it all with trees. Shit, the guy was there, like trapped in a tree and just like, ah, ah, Shadow, help me! Ah. Shadow's like, fuck, this is bad. All right, Murray, training room. Let's see what it's like. All right, yeah, get, get to the danger room. We need to get him to brushed off his ring rust. Probably gonna be stuff we already know, but. Time to brush up on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To pick something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. He sounds okay now, Murray. Yeah, well, when he's not, well, he's putting his his full whole, whole ass into it now. This one was broken in slide two, wasn't it? Because you nice just take job. people out and just throw shit at them. That was very powerful. Great. I knocked the small guys out with one punch. You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy. Yes, Snake, it's that's what I said. You don't have to repeat it back to me. Uh, grab, destroy. What's up? So I've heard mixed things about the uh, Metal Gear Solid collection that came out. Oh, whoops. Not working. Hey, try again. 
Oh, there's a Metal Gear Solid collection? Yeah, there was a Metal Gear Solid collection in the past, like, year oh. or something. Oh, yeah, which it, it was... Was and it the uh, okay, go on. yeah, it, it's like yeah, it's like all the games, except for like four and five, I think. Yeah, which are probably going to be like volume two yep. collection. Throw a rock at that guard to knock him out. What were some of the things you heard? Uh, just say it was it was missing a lot of features that would be expected, like uh, volume controls, just basic things for twenty. 20 <laughs> oh my gosh, that is embarrassing. What? what? He's so far away. Fuck it, I'm gonna fight him. Man. So you carry, you grab that, you carry it closer. But his flashlight. Grab him while okay. he's out. I guess grab I can also run. He's... Yeah. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash. Oh, Murray can pickpocket. Everybody can pickpocket. He's just asking. Begging me to rob him. That's right. I guess it was kind of lame in the previous game that you like couldn't capitalize on any pocket, cash when you were playing as Bentley or Murray in the field. Mug him quite thoroughly. Mug him. <laughs> I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above oh. your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins. He has <laughs> a literal <laughs> shakedown. That's so cool. The more All right. you give this high roller a shakedown, he'll never forget. What happened? He rolled him. I like it. I wonder if the guru can also. Yeah, Bentley. Yeah. Hey, Murray. The juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. You juggle ready? Grab. Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Oh, you okay, can do it forward okay. as well. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut. I was listening, Murray. Them out of the air by pressing the circle button. It's like an Is anime that, right? that does too many recaps. For this time, <laughs> you, have to pull it off you asked the for this. And throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight him. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. There he is. Where are they? Oh. There's also the uh, Metal Gear 3 remake that's happening. Oh, and yeah, uh, David Hayter apparently got an early play. He liked David it. David Hayter? Okay. The, yeah, the voice of Solid Snake. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I was saying, did they, get, they got him back for it? Oh, yeah. Okay. He also, I mean, yes. uh... R rumors he that also, they're making he, it six. Well, no, they, he did, like, a video for... He voiced a video that the Konami put together on the history of Metal Gear, and they didn't mention Kojima once. That's petty as shit. It kind of makes me not want to get the collection, because I know Kojima's not going to get, like, any residuals for it. Terror Alongside, yeah, ball. like rumors Just of a Metal Gear 6, which would be very weird without Kojima. Times. You know what? You gotta get somebody as weird. Get David Lynch! You think David he'd Lynch do it? Takes... You think he's a fan? <laughs> I'd like to see him do a video game! Yeah, I'd say... Like, it's either you get, like, just a normal writer who'd be... who'd be, be, be holding the committees, or you get, like, a fucking auteur who is weird in their own right. If you can't get the original dude, get somebody who's, like, incredibly fucking here. weird to take Head over. Okay, door. best case scenario, he makes, like, an amazingly weird but playable ga game. Worst case scenario, you get Takeshi's Challenge. <laughs> that, that, that's a worst case scenario. That's, that'd be pretty funny, too. Takeshi's Challenge, I've never played, but I don't- I'm not, I can't get pissed off at that game. But are what you game? aware of what that game is? Yeah, you can- at one point, you gotta do karaoke, and if you get one note off, you- you were, like- you can't continue. It's known to be incredibly impossible. I've seen a Japanese dude, like, play it. For, it's like, not a... just that. It's also that, like, everything is completely arbitrary and obtuse. First, the random things that you have to do to make game progress in the game. In yeah, I know, uh... I know, I know about the game, and it's like, and it's just because this Japanese comedian dude said, okay, first you, you, you play karaoke, and then you get drunk at a bar, and then you punch this person, and then you don't punch this person, and that's how you, know you get to beat the game. 
You know what? That just sounds like a, a Sierra adventure game. At Elf House Skip. You you know Skip. You see you see British punk fly again. I can't. I press all the buttons. I, I press all buttons, but no skip. I think this happened last time too. It said, "Hey, do this thing in the in the bunker," and we went and did it, and then we had to watch the intro again. Fantastic. Yeah. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings. What does he sound? I wonder what he sounds like. I forget. Control over the weak-minded. Who? I can. The the the, the fucking guru. If even half the stories were true. Then this was a guy I just had to meet. So most noticeable voice changes in this game are Carmelita, yes, followed by I think the Lizard Man, the vault. and then and this guru, this Sly. Sly's Sly's okay. Was looking like the best recruit we could have ever like asked Sly. for. He sounds way too boring. However. He does sound pretty boring in this game, but... Bentley, on the other hand, I don't know if they changed his voice actor. Probably not. He sounds, like, dead on. It's much less of a change compared... Sly and Murray are much less of a change compared to the other two. Was nowhere to be seen. Sly! You don't have to. You just have to select continue F. I thought I did. Did I hit the wrong thing on the screen again? Is that what happened? You, you did, yes. I, I Maybe. The rumble down under. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> you should watch the fucking cutscene again! <laughs> I should definitely be able to skip out of that, though. You gotta, you gotta read. That's your punishment. That's your fucking not paying attention tax. You gotta, you really gotta grind for cash off screen. You're, yeah. you are so behind. Berserker charge. Scatter enemies with this powerful run. Spin attack level two. Eh. Elf, what are there any moves that you like recommend as like super important in this game? Push attack. The miners have really mm. tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your opals. step, they're sure to get rough defending the Of course fight. it's kangaroo. You're gonna fight some fucking kangaroos. Better ones are later in the game. Well yeah, I assume that. Well, I was just on my way to fight the evil Dr. Neo Cortex and I wound up here. You remember, uh. You, you remember that one second, like, uh, an, like funny animal? Uh, the that kangaroo? boxing kangaroo? Yeah. It, it, wasn't was, that, was, like, one of the things that PETA, like, made a big fuss about? If you, if you I know they make a fuss about everything, but specifically it was like a fighting animal in a fighting game. Uh, maybe? Maybe it was the bear, Kuma. What was the- okay, what was the, uh, the kangaroo's name? There was also a kangaroo in, uh, what, Final Fight? Final Fight? The Hagar game. Oh. You, I, I, don't th I don't think Hagar fought a kangaroo in Final Fight. No, it was one of the playable characters in, like, Final Fight 2 or something. I don't was remember a kangaroo. That. No, it wasn't a kangaroo! I, I swear this remember. was a thing! <laughs> he plays a fucking... He plays Ripped Mare Mike Hagar. Uh, Cody, the, the Mike Hagar's daughter's boyfriend. Uh, play, the ninja guy... The other ninja Maki and the fucking kangaroo. It was the game that you you could also play as like a little skateboard kid or something. What? <laughs> Are you thinking of bad dudes? No, no, there were two characters in Bad Dudes. <laughs> yeah, Bad Dude One and Bad Dude Two. They were rescuing the president. President, president. Because they were bad enough dudes. <laughs> Are you a bad enough dude? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got I gotta look this up. This is important. <laughs> Pause the game. Then. Final fight kangaroo. Final fight kangaroo. No, that wasn't it. Kangaroo video captures epic kangaroo battle at nature preserve. <laughs> beat him up, kangaroo. <laughs> R slash martial arts, could you beat up a kangaroo? <laughs> Roger Jr. No, it's not Roger Jr. from Tekken. I swear this was a thing. Okay, that was the kangaroo's name, Roger. And then, uh, and then they had the dinosaur called Alex. Final Fight 2. Who, who was in that one? 
You you can't knock out a kangaroo like their brains don't have en ma enough mass from the whiplash to knock them out. Not to mention they're a two hundred pound rabbit deer with three legs that can kick you so hard your lungs explode several times over. <laughs> I'm so. Who wrote this? The Baki author. Uh, uh, Mr. Magic Beetle. Uh, this was seven months ago. On the r slash martial arts uh, subreddit. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't find it. It's a beat 'em up game where two of the characters are a kid with a skateboard and a boxing kangaroo. Uh, kid with a skateboard. That can't be fucking. No, because they were only because the, I, I, the game you're thinking of, something kids. No, no. Beat him up where the main character is a kangaroo. It's not the main character. He's one of like four characters. What what games is uh, Terry from? Final Fight and. No, Terry wasn't in Final Fight. He was in Streets. Not, not Final Streets Fight. Streets Rage. Uh, Maybe that was it. Miss Streets of Rage. Maybe. Streets of, Ra Streets of Rage. Okay. What's Streets of Rage game. Two? What are those characters? Streets of Rage Two roster. On the Genesis. My spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I God, really I appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Okay, we got Where did he Axel go? Stone. Streets of Rage, Rue. Adam hunts. Adam Skateboard Hunter. Uh... Rue? Oh. Uh, we got Blaze Okay, Fielding. yeah. Is Eddie Skate Hunter and Rue the Kangaroo. It was Streets of Rage I was thinking of. Okay, Streets of Rage. That I, I've never played Streets of Rage, so... But it wasn't Final Fight. Final... No. It was a uh, beat-em-up game. I would have remembered, because I, I played Final Fight on SNES when I was younger. Where am I going? Max Thunder. Yeah, play Streets of Rage. Rue, yep. He's got a, he's got a chain collar. The uh, the kid from Winnie the Pooh grew up. Yes. Okay, I, 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 a new trope page that uh, that a new uh, trope that uh, I just found out exists. Ascended to carnivorism. Unlike real life kangaroos, Rue will eat turkeys to restore his health. He just decided to become a meat eater. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> that was one of the Dingo <laughs> Pictures plots, right? Yeah, the dinosaurs at some point, like Sorry, the, the, the uh, this cave's empty. herbivorous dinosaurs. Any other ideas where he might be? Like, we ate well, other dinosaurs. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. He shit himself. Go up. No, I don't want to go down to the scary in place. To uh, apparently unlock uh, the kangaroo, you don't have. You can't beat him during his boss battle. You have to beat his trainer. Yeah. So, well, that's a yeah. little better. Like, if you play okay. perfectly, the kangaroo never has to get hurt at all. Mm -hmm. He fights with you. This place is packed. <laughs> it's probably my one of my top favorite like <laughs> Looks like you're going to get some <laughs> What the the kangaroo <laughs> graduating to carnivore? No, no, the fucking friend poster I read about a, about the response of can you fight a kangaroo? <laughs> Has there been a kangaroo character in Sly yet? Well, the, well these like... guards. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Okay, they're just they're just like guys though. That's disappointing. Can I make this jump? Why not? Double jump. I have been. Okay, and you, maybe you gotta hit. There we go. That's tight. Yeah. Oh, uh, something we could do. I, I forgot to mention this. I uh, I did get a difficult game about climbing. Oh, okay. Sorry, Murray. we never finished Nobody's getting over home. it. We never got that's, over it. I'd say that's fine. He was fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They come in and be all angry and yelling, and he'd be all peaceful, and they just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way, and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him. My master's a goner. Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. <laughs> it's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good and tip. can I have, like, Thanks, a blow dart? That would be nice, a projectile. Wait, you got a cane, and you're gonna like it. What about a gun? <laughs> We're thieves, not murderers! Really wish I had a glider. Oh, hello. Give me your shit. Give me the loot. Ah! Nope. Bye. I'm not here. Oh. Sneaky. No. Go away! The two kangaroos are on your ass. These miners have no respect for the aboriginal sacred sites. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry not believing you about the kangaroo. I just... Kings Canyon, Wave Rock, the cultural insensitivity is sickening. How do we sleep when the beds are burning? If I remember correctly, you were the one who played the first two Sly games. I did, yeah. Uh, well, I think we handed it off, because that was one of the games we, we played while, while uh, I was still in Battleground. You must be yeah. the guru. I'm a good Maybe, friend of no, Murray's. Was... He's come asking to be released from his oh, training. God. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you doing, Father? You seriously won't leave without your gear? He's one of those characters. Just everyone understands him. Yeah. yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Oh, Grandma, you always know just what to say. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the guru will be free to use his powers. So he's a koala, so right? impressed him in their conversation. Yeah. Because now, he is requesting that Murray You think he sleeps for 18 hours a day? Something about judging You think he only eats eucalyptus? Centers. I'm and he has to spend all of his energy digesting it. See the way he's wired? No, I'm sure he's, 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 he's uh, he eating tobacco now. Had foolishly the mask of dark earth. Stone mask? His job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to fall. Demons, Jack. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena Devils? over the years, so the I'm not going to rule it out as a threat to our operation. I'm Bentley not gonna rule confirmed. It. Smarter than Kaiba. <laughs> I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat. I love for somebody to say to, for somebody to talk to this like CEO dude, like a private army, and somebody's like, this land is cursed. He turns to his me, he's like, I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat. <laughs> Are you dweeb still talking about magic and curses? 
<laughs> yeah, I got Remember, remember when he threw his blue eyes at an enemy to, to kind of disarm them? Like, as like the, the card itself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like he, he just... was fucking Hisuka. No, blue eyes! <laughs> God. You know what? Kaiba would be a legendary character in another way if he was, like, if he was, like, unintentionally wacky like that. If, if like, he just used playing cards, very, very expensive playing cards as, like, as, like, weapons against enemies, like... The more expensive it is, the more damage it'll deal. And every time somebody comes up with like an insane like possibility or like a like like supernatural curse or something, his first response is, "Well, that means it's non-zero. I'll take that into account." I, I think that would, that's a that, that's a funny character. There's a lot of downtime in these games as you're just like getting yeah. from place to place on the overworld. I think it'd be easier to, like, mug people as Murray, because you don't need to, like, stay behind them. Here, just mug that guy. The wrong! There you go. Give me your lunch money! <laughs> Murray, I think Murray's the most satisfying character to play now. Well, I don't gotta worry about sneaking when I rob people, so that's yeah. nice. How the fuck do I, I get over there? Oh, wait, there's a, there's a character that I think his pocket was shiny. Up on this hill. No, Whoa. not shiny. Down there. Is shiny? Oh. Ah, the motion blur is fucking with me. Also, I think you can you can Yay! Silver pin! How much was that? I don't know. Oh, no. Go down. Oh wait! You know what you can do, right? Because you don't, you don't need to, uh, you do the, yeah. you shake him, you, you're oh, shaking yeah, him, da shake him down! Sorry, you I don't forgot, you, I, I was going after the one with the shiny. I'm, just, I'm saying that you don't even need to, like, really be in stealth all the time, because you can do the uppercut and then, and then I, I the circle. I, I panicked, I was worried about, like, getting rid of the enemies on me. Well, we need money because there's a lot of stuff we need to spend. I'm saying that you should you should focus on shaking down as many people as you can, as opposed to just like do making a beeline for that thing right over there. Hey, give me your money. Uh, triangle. Okay, that works too. <laughs> this is so this is so rad. All out. All right. I am Murray and I am a fucking mugger. <laughs> Murray the mugger. Do you think I we'll be able to play as Voodoo man? To see your I hope teacher so. again. What is what's his robbing mechanic? Pay him a visit individually. If it wasn't for the guru, I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? <laughs> you used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me! I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. <laughs> it's got Head into plot. this cave. It'll take you right up to him. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! We're in an Australian strip mine searching for a magical guru to save a stone mask from starting a vampire plague. <laughs> is this, is this, is this, yep, Sly Cooper. Just another day in Sly Cooper. I thought you, I thought dropping down like that height you would have baned him. I I wish I could do a pile driver. Well, no, backbreaker. But yeah, a pile driver works too. It's, it's like a fucking uh, like Wario style one. Have a rotten day. Murray, try throwing rocks to destroy. Oh, that other guy's a shiny. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. 
Yeah, well, I can't get to that one without taking this one out first. Okay, now go for it. I wish it Full dropped rank. the coins, like, on top of you instead of at a distance. Yeah. Can't control it. Well, anyway. Uh... Yeah, those aren't stalagmites, those are just fucking boulders. What are you talking about, Bentley? Oh, he said rocks. Oh, the ones that were... Yeah. Oh! Shiny! Fifty. Okay. So that's a hundred right we made. I'm sure this exists in Australia. There's giant... So why are we... Like Sheet rocks floating on uh, stalactites. So why are we in this cave again? What are we uh, doing here? Uh, this is where they hid the see. fucking Dreamtime staff slash Moon Pearl. Turnbuckle Collab launch isn't in this game. What, what what is turnbuckle launch? Isn't that a Pokemon move? Was that like a, a pile driver he had? Oh, you can throw something at him. Maybe he's got something. Oh, it's yeah. going off the cliff. No, it's not. You're broke. Should, should, should have not have spent all your money on gambling. It was a Murray upgrade that let you jump way higher than anyone else in two. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was funny. I wish this game had, it had like, a cheat item. I wish it had a Tom. According to the mine's hydraulic flow chart... The door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in. What's the good of having? Whoa, this Echo! You can't smack steel doors with. Hey, you're in a cave. What are you expecting? Too thick, even for you. No, to get through. It's made out of fucking wood. Are you? In this piston. You want me to punch it? I could do that. Use your Aboriginal ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure, and the door is sure to open. Piston, beware! You're about to be bounced! Uh, L1. Be the ball. Be the ball. Tough bridge. That's, that's That looks like it's made out of wood, right? The that, door, yeah. Yeah. So dumb. Can you use this as a combat as a combat trick? I don't know. I, I forgot I could do it at any time and not just in like cutscene areas. Yeah. Almost. Welcome to the hydraulic press channel. Yeah. Gameplay. There we go. Eat it, piston sucker. <laughs> Does he have the S word pass? Can he say that? I mean, I'm reminded of that time Booker T accidentally called Hulk Hogan the N, like the N word with an A. Is this Booker T black? Yes. He was gonna see he was trying to say suck up, but he ended up saying the other thing. It's like we come for you. How did Hulk react? <laughs> well, knowing what we know about him now, we'd probably be really <laughs> mad, right? <laughs> I, I know he was. Uh, he, I think he was deep pushed for a little bit after that incident. But at the same time. At the same time, oh, you got to jump it straight in the middle. Okay, doesn't sound hard. It doesn't sound hard, but. Oh nope. Okay, by the same oh. time, you mean in quick succession. You bastard game designer. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't I'm not like glowing like before. <laughs> so we've gotten some footage of Tenkaichi 4 or Tenkaichi Sparking or whatever. Yeah. It's Tenkaichi 0. Tenkaichi. Tenkaichi, the next one. Urta, fastest in the universe, is confirmed. Yes. 
I hope they allow them to like to like have like uh, more more in depth uh, conversate like interactions. More interactions would be good. Uh, fewer clone moves would be good. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Look at the size of that guy. He must be jacked up by that mask of dark earth the guru was warning us about. Oh no! Curious. He's a vampire it kangaroo. Like much Shit. Larger. Probably more aggressive too. I can take him. My righteous quest to see the guru. Murray, do you know Hamon? Like Did the guru teach you Hamon? You, you got sunlight? You nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills. Ow. Okay. That might break the circuit. And get the shiny Never off try. of him. He's got shiny. So sneak up on him. I do, you think I can lift him? I think you can. You gotta throw him, so... Presumably. Yeah, shake him! It's like Bowser. I gotta throw him into the bombs. Yeah, so where's the circuit? What? No, I throw him into the drills, he said, right? No. Ow. Does this motherfucker have the chi his child with him? Yeah. It was a... Yeah, it is. Punch the baby. Don't punch the baby. Punch the baby. Go down! Good! Whatever you're doing is not is not the correct way. Maybe I can use the ball form. My aboriginal ball form. <laughs> he doesn't know how to react to it. He's confused. <laughs> I don't think this is working. Ow. Did the tail drop? Okay, I, e even if he's, like, unflinchable, I can still do the triangle circle. Yep. In the previous game, that didn't work, like, at all, unless they were, like, unless he caught him off guard. Okay, well, you gotta throw, uh, did you say throw him in the drills? Yeah. Oh, okay. Keep it up, you did some damage! Okay. Stun locked. Well, this just feels unfair now. Holy cow! Yeah. That's a magic mask. Oh, oh it's, no! It's a Crash Bandicoot living mask. Press on to the guru. He'll have some answers. Didn't they do? Uh, didn't Sucker Punch? No, that was somebody else. Circuit is broken. <laughs> do I do I chase the mask or do I leave? You leave. Like, you weren't here for the mask, you were here for... But I want... The mask seems like it's dangerous, or whatever. Hey, cool. Master. I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. I'd like to... Nice diaper, dude. I am asking... Oh, man. He's got those uh, cheeks. Uh, yeah! yeah. I want to join back up with my friends, and, uh, we're hoping you'd come along, too. Babaji? You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Is he gonna play, like, video games with them? Is, are they gonna get this guy to play Smash Brothers? And a mask of Dark Earth? Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise. Thanks, Guru. Dude, I'm happy to see you, too. You have too. him in your fucking... You have him in your fucking, like, uh, your crew. Well, what, what the fuck is his, like, Binocucom gonna look like? We find we have, like, the master, master splinter. Yeah, of the crew. You're just gonna be the four of us eating pizza together. Big truck. Alright, uh, not a whole lot, but... Oh, that guy's got a shiny. Aw. Yeah. It... Ah. I, okay, I gotta That's be, fine. like, mindful of which direction I'm facing when I shake yeah. them down. Or else you're gonna drop all the coins in the fucking Sludge River. It's fine, though. You got, you got a bronze ring. Those are worth... Mm, does the guy have a shiny? Yeah, he's got a shiny! Hello! Okay. Now. Nope. Yeah. 
Bronze medal, 39. <laughs> Murray does not like ledges. Big truck. Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! Sure. I can crush houses with What the face. fuck is that thing? It looks like the one of the Halo vehicles. It's a fucking Toyota Super Fornicator. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is like that fucking uh like rhino or whatever. The siege weapon. Oh yeah! Going off roading into a piece of construction equipment. It's kill dozer. I have an idea of how we That was not smashing shit with a truck music, by the way. We'll need to force the drill on this rig deeper into the ground. Okay, Bentley, you've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm going to get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. Oh, you got to do combat as Sly instead of Murray? God damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't even pickpocket him. Look at your health is fucked! How'd that happen? Give me your shit. I see anyone on top of you. Why do you have no health? I guess I must have left Sly with no health from whatever I last played him. His injuries had covered. It is not gonna pull out. Don't get the money. Don't wait, Sly. This isn't about the money. It's, it's always, always about, about the, money. the money. Nice work, Sly. The sonic vibrations caused by that drill should drive the giant scorpion. I'm surprised your health carried over. If we can capture a bunch of red soldier scorpions, releasing them into Ayers Rock is sure to push out the miners. Sounds like Are a we... job for the Murray. One question, though. How do I capture scorpions with a truck? The vehicle is equipped with a supercharged e-brake, which... What if we just poison them with carbon mo carbon monoxide? No. Either correctly, and you'll trap the scorpion Wait. in the mining... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bentley. <laughs> You gotta do scorpions. flip. You gotta flip the That's truck like a, and the do stunts over a scorpion. Quickly in this blazing hot sand, you'll have to cool them down by driving into the water or running over scorpions. Okay. Watch or running course. over scorpions. Cooling scorpions. Remember, only like scorpion blood. It's a natural uh, sunblock. There's like there's a Baki bit to this where like Sly comes up with these mini games and it has to try to come up with some stupid explanation for why this makes sense in universe. Okay, you gotta you gotta use the e-brake to flip over to capture scorpions. Use the R1 button after you built up some speed. Okay. It's fine. These, they, they, they planned for that. This is like some weird ass battle bot. Here we go. He can. He, he's it's self writing. Yeah. Nice work. Looks like more are being driven to the surface. Scream. This. <laughs> this. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be like, oh, this is gonna suck. You don't wanna do that. That's a blue scorpion! Oh, the blues are bad. Blue scorpions can cool down your tires. That's the only thing they're good for. I don't think I'm very good at this. Why? why? You're the driving dude. Like, you're the wheel. You're the wheel man of, of, of like the of like the group. Come on. I'm doing it too early because I expect it to like go further because it's a fucking giant truck flipping over. <laughs> Here we go. You know, at least there's no time limit for this. Yeah, I was just about to say that's good. 
Yeah, because they expect you to like wait a while to pull it down your tires at the. By the way, speaking of your tires, they're like 30 the percent. Keep it up. Oh, they don't cool much at all, the blue ones. Yeah, might as well just go into the, oh, into yeah. the water. Might as well just go into yeah. the water, you're... Yeah. Your tires are about to melt. Yeah, I know, Bentley. Yeah, okay, we're good. Headstand! Hurry, hang tough for a minute. My sensors are showing a drop-off in underground movement. We'll have to drill deeper to keep the scorpions coming out. Sly, you'll have to climb to the top of the drill tower and override the depth control system. Okay, Bentley. I'm on Wasn't my I way. just up there? No. No, you're, you're, you need to go higher. You ever play The Lost Vikings? I've seen it played. Doesn't look like a game that would interest me. Yeah, because I'm just, I just like that concept of. Yeah, it's a good thing there's no fall damage. It's like the concept of like. Of swapping characters. Yeah, it just like, each one has like a different ability they need to do. It would work better if it was like DK and they were like they moved together, instead of having to do the level like as each of them in tandem in turn. By the way, uh, something I I, I I just realized that game's got multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You can have two people controlling like. Yeah, one of us can one can be the jumper, one can be the shielder, one can and uh, then you swap. I know there's a three-player mode. Well, yeah, it's a there's three Vikings. Yeah, so you just. I like to see that done modern day. Where you could have a one-player mode where you control each of them, like, at once, but you could also have, like, a mode where you, uh... Oh, this is unfair. I'm sure that exists. I'm sure there there's some indie game somewhere that, like, emulates Lost Vikings. Well, we've played a couple of them. We've, uh, we played, uh... No, we played it's one working. of them that, uh... You're talking about it's a way out? Yeah. Because we've still the got the oh, next, no! next game. Oh, no! We still got the next game by that studio, uh, It no Takes problem, Two, Bentley. that we never yeah. did. I totally got the hang of it yeah. now. Oh, by the way, uh... Yeah, no water. Yeah. Wait, oh, I was gonna say, like, maybe, maybe flipping just over and over is, like, a more efficient method of, like, traversal than, uh, than, than rolling around on your tires. Yeah, because logically, the tires shouldn't be heating up. Yeah, no, it is. So, so you move, so here's what you should do. You should just, you should just not, Oh, I need to be going a certain speed in order to flip, though. I can't do it oh. from nothing. That's why they, they did it like that. Oh, your tires are, your tires are almost, like, done, so... Should, uh... Or wow, that that is such bullshit. How little they fucking uh... uh oh. Wow, this sucks. This this part of the, this part sucks. They should they should pull it down way more than like than like they are. Give me your cooling juices. Oh, yeah. Is there exactly enough red scorpions? Oh, no. Give me the blue. Oh, oh. oh you're fucked. Run over yeah. more scorpions! Okay, the checkpoint was after the water drained. Hello, scorpions? Scorpion. Headstand. Yeah. Here we go! Do you wanna enter battle bots? Do you wanna make this in real life? <laughs> 
This thing, okay, at three, like, the, the thing is, is that at three pounds, so, ah. Uh, the main people, the way, way people usually win battle bots is by flipping the other guy over, right? Uh, no, the, the main people, the way, main way people want to win battle bots is by, is by wrecking the opponent's robot. This thing would be funny, but it wouldn't do a whole lot, considering that the main meta in battle bots is this, like, spinning thing that hits really hard. I no, I'm not scooping. No, it, it should be a meta. People try to make it work, but uh, but but self writing is like the meta. I'm saying that though that you flipping on somebody, you have to have like a lot of weight to do it, or like have like spikes on it or some shit. Thanks, Murray. Thanks, thanks, Bentley. Bentley and Murray. Why do they gotta have names that are so fucking similar? You know, if the FLV was better, then, then like you're able to track like more blue scorpions. I think this yeah. this wouldn't be such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, you got it. That's fine. Do the red one? I think the red ones heal more if you run over them than the blue ones do. That's that's funny. Yeah, that's way more. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dicks. So you gotta think about long-term resource management. That well, that one just like jumped ten feet. It was scared. As it should be. The Murray yeah. has you in his sights. They're only good to cool down your tires. Don't bother trapping the blue ones. They're only good to cool down your tires. Thanks, Bentley. Heard you the first time. Thank you! Okay. One more. Wait, are you getting cash every time you fucking track one? Am I? Are these scorpions carrying cash? Oh, yeah! Great job! Yeah, they are! Now back that truck full of scorpions up to the mine entrance and deliver that not-so-friendly payload. Now! Giant scorpions! Run for it, mates! Uh-oh! <laughs> the long delivery. <laughs> uh -oh. Nice teamwork, guys. Ayers Rock Again, same music mind. track, still the playing. Will be pleased. Not action-y <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's great. We're 9% through the game. How does that make you feel? I, I feel like a winner. Some guy made a troll uh, music, uh, like about like uh, about something about. I just got beep at the Mario movie. That makes me a winner. And every time I think of winner, I can't help but think of that terrible song. See, I say beep because because that was how it actually happened in the song. He actually put like a really annoyingly loud sensor thing on there. Oh, I assume. So, so I don't know what kind of joke he was trying to make. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that that it was supposed to be a beep, and that his label Flux Entertainment. Why? Why are you you flip yeah, your money I, off? I wasn't thinking. I was getting ready to throw him after the shakedown. What, buddy? Oh. I'm not here. Oh, wrong button. All four. Maybe that's okay. how I get around as, as Murray. I just ball everywhere. Boy. Let's go on a dungeon adventure. People are unironically using ah, uh, like A-H-H, -A -A in place of ass in, like, normal unironic conversation. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Because I guess ass gets, like, censored on, like, I don't know, TikTok or something, and that's how people have gotten around it. And Why now people are saying a... it out loud. Why not just fucking, like, say, just to have a star star? That's... Or the visual? Just... You know what? Just, just at that point, just say stuff like... The posterior. The rear end. The dump truck. 
The ham hocks. It's like, that's creative. Like, fucking, you can't say ass, so you say ah. What a nice ah. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you screaming at the end, at the end when you're trying to say what something, what something is nice? Crazy you know, ah, ah, kids. Am I the ah hole? I thought people were just respelling a word on a whim. I'm pretty sure that's why it is. I don't know. I don't use TikTok. I would just say I would just use like Sarah synonyms like derriere. Ow. Come here. I'm not done with you yet. This is what we call a shakedown. We've got like we've gotten like hundreds of coins using Murray. Yeah, Murray's the best pickpocket. <laughs> it's like it's like fucking watching a Taskmaster thing. It's like get the money from this guard. Okay. Am I allowed to like alert them or anything? All the information is on the task. Get the money from the guard. And then he just does to a okay. pickpocket. One person like uses a machine, and meanwhile Murray just fucking like just. Just forcefully grabs him and shakes him down, and is just like, "All right, I stop the clock." Okay, you're in first place because you fucking grabbed the money from the guard. Damn. <laughs> they're at the. Uh, they're they're like looking at the footage at the end in uh, in Taskmaster, and they're like, "Are you a fucking psychopath?" <laughs> the Murray takes no prisoners. <laughs> Silver pin. How much was that? I don't know. It's weird, because the other ones have, like, the value of the item, and then Murray just says the name of the item. I think it's because of how he's, like, holding it. It's blocking the actual number. The physical model is blocking the number. Thunderflop! <laughs> you fucking... Oh, no, you did kill him. Kill someone else. Yeah, this is this is the easiest way to get money. You just get, the, you just get Murray, and you just fucking, like, mug people. Oh wow, they're unflinchable even to Murray. <laughs> it's all—it's all that spice everybody's been doing. It's an epidemic. So why? So here's a question: Why do you think everybody is like, in, in terms of like, like doing like some kind of like fake fantasy drug? Everybody decided to co quickly use spice. Mm -hmm. Like Star Wars did it. Dune does it. Dune was the first one to do it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it seems like an easy, believable name for such a thing. Yeah. And then people actually decided they were going to make, like, uh, something uh, with the street name of Spice and it ended up being, like, lame. You're not doing so hot. Yeah. 900. Yeah. I wonder how fast they respawn. How do I get to the base? Says Murray. Where is the base? It's on this platform here. Use your ball form from a height. I guess I could, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there are you gonna have to fight? Are you gonna have to fight that alligator slash crocodile? Oh, you just go up there. That's like the uh, that's the Peter Pan crocodile. He's so eager to go. He's so ready to mug people. <laughs> he, he's the he, he makes the money. The, I'm the money. The purge, starring Murray. <laughs> I'll still save my points. Oh, okay. Oh no, I didn't want Bentley. Yeah, he can't pick pocket. He uses, has to use a machine to do it. His time was the lowest. He got fifth place. So Murray is like the banjo. Bentley yeah. is, I, I don't know. Is is there like a character that would be comparable to Benji in this outfit? Bentley in this outfit? Uh, I, I don't know. There's Who's... not really like a platforming series that revolves around like tech shit. Uh, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, Ratchet. But even then, like, Ratchet's no hacker or anything. 
No. Ratchet's the muscle who just blows shit up. The closest, uh, it would be fucking... The, the closest... You gotta have a smoke bomb, by the way. The closest would probably be... Wait, you have a fucking disguise? Still? Aha! Uh -huh. Now <laughs> I'm in uniform! Wait, what happened? What happened to you? Why'd you fall? See, can you sneak behind? Can you sneak by them? As <laughs> Do it! Try to sneak by them! It's- you know it's not gonna work. <laughs> I, I, I Hello, don't know fellow that. aboriginal! Uh-oh! <laughs> He's not Aboriginal, he's just an Australian. You sleep well when the beds are burning. Okay, undisguised, there we go. No, end! Cancel! Huh. Oh boy, dark. Silver Pit in 59. This is so anxiety inducing compared to how Murray does it. Oh yeah, it was Murray it seems reward it seems satisfying as when you when Murray does it. By the way, I, I got a question. Yeah? Uh you think you could set uh, it from 15 frames to 30 frames? I think if I could internet could take it now. Uh <laughs> just really quick. I, it's kinda the the motion blur is making me nauseated. Stream quality. There you go, buddy. There we go, that's... There we go! That's that's a lot better. Oh yeah, that's so much better! I'm, I'm watching this there. through Discord, that's that's why I... That's, uh, that's why I, if my reactions are a bit delayed, that's why it's... it's doing it that way. a long way. This long app path. I hate it. It Use sounds so wrong. Yeah. Ass. It sounds it, like it, it feels so much better to say than ah. Wait, 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 hold on. That's how it's uh, they're saying, right? Ah. Yeah. A H H. That's is, just. That's just. That is literally just somebody screaming. In is pain. this like on Know Your Meme? The the new ah trend. After capturing the guru, the I, he's still in disguise. Magic moonstone. <laughs> Without these objects, the guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stashed the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in. And I'm not out. even in disguise oh. anymore. Why is he wearing okay. it? Okay. Okay, we gotta stop. We gotta stop making fun of it. Uh, that term. Apparently, it's like African American vernacular. So. Okay. So yeah, why, that's why? That was ignorant of me. I don't know. It still has an origin. Like... So what's the origin? Uh, I'm looking for it. If we get popularized on TikTok in early 2022 20, as a spam comment, often used on videos where the original sound contains goofy sound effects associated with 21st century humor. Including cartoon sound effects and indiscernible noises. The exact origin of the term Goofy Ah is unknown, but has been used online since as early as 2009 on Twitter! Those caves are gonna be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. This, this fucking, like, term has been... Oh, <laughs> you have 3D glasses? It's still being used to replace the word ass, though. Like, that that's yeah, the but, common usage right not, now. But not in terms of, like, people actually talking if about people's here, rear ends, but they're just saying that the uh, to make fun of, like, goofy shit on... on well, no, they're media. using it in the... Like, in any phrase that would end in ass. Like, weird ass, funny ass. Goofy... It mostly goofy ass. Goofy ah uh, sound. But they're not, they're not talking about people's posteriors with it, which is where I was, like, being like, why would you do that? But no, they're, they're, it, the, the, the goofiness of, of the term is, is, uh, it, it refers it to, the fuck am I looking at? I don't know, what are you looking at? The, the, no, oh, the spinning I'm, drills thing? What the fuck? 
It's it's what? drilling nothing. <laughs> why did it why did he put on the disguise for the the cutscene? Because I wasn't wearing it when the cutscene started. Well you <laughs> I don't know. You should unequip it. I was? Huh. You, you, you should unequip it. Well, what if we want to use it again, though? For what? I don't know. Some goofy ah moment. <laughs> Some goofy ass moment. I still, I'm still gonna say goofy ass. I'm too, I'm too old to be starting to try and use other, other uh, like, like slang terms. Also, that just that feels wrong. If I'm gonna say ah, I'm going to do that in like a fucking funny way, like person, person falling. And then they do a ridiculous scream as they're Paul. I, you know I me. Mean? I love a good, a good like ridiculous like scream. Uh oh. No! Shiny. How how did you fuck I up so badly? So Drop a smoke bomb. There you go. I try it, now. Go and try it again and get the item. You sound so disappointed. We need money. Did you just fucking I, kill I yourself? I swear I pressed circle. Now you gotta go through the through the through the drill maze again. The drill. The hall of drills. Alright, uh, drill comments. I'm gonna look up some drill stuff. You know how they say a drill is kind of like a guy's, you know. If your guy doesn't say rest in peace on it, you are automatically drafted into the skeleton war. What? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what, what is the, the context beside, behind these, these words you just started saying? This is, uh, this is, uh, comments from, uh, from drill. What is drill? Like, that's a person? Uh, He's a, yeah, he's on, tw he's on Twitter, he makes comments. The pursuit of having the nicest opinions online is the only thing that separates us from goddamn animals. The sole reason we exist. Oh, he doesn't have the fucking... Oh, no, that's another guy. Yeah, we lost the shiny. No, it's the same guy. Doctor, you can't keep doing this to yourself. the environment or anything, but these caves are with opals, I can see why these miners are so driven. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Being the last true good boy online will destroy you. You must stop posting with honor. No. Oh, he has got a shiny. Please don't fuck up. Jack, I get it. You like money. We're not in that dire need. How did I land perfectly on the back of that chair? It was, it was pretty cool, honestly. Silver medal, 64. See that 64 stuff? Remember when they had that game that was like uh, Sly and Ratchet and Jack all together? Oh, and then, and then it didn't do well? Well, no, because they, they made it a fucking gimmick with the PS Move. Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah. Are you fucking up or are I you don't actually... know. I guess oh, it's going I'm going red, so you're not so you're not doing it. Slower. 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 Oh. I was going so slow. Okay, <laughs> so I, right I have the to first like, time. I have to stop and hold it when it's like vibrating the most, right? No. Maybe go back a little bit where you were, like the other way. Okay. Okay, go further. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit. The teeniest, teeniest amount. Okay, a little more. A little more. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. 
You're supposed to go the other direction when it... Okay. I, th I think I see what he means. Okay, so it's vibrating. Now I start going left. Yes. Well, vibrating. It's doing that thing on screen. Because I don't have vibration. Got the moon stone. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners right, fuck are it. Just put a, put a lot of reverb on it. It'll sound like a cave. It looks like a light-sensitive detonator. If oh. I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. A light-sensitive detonator? Oh, quickly. Oh, oh! Go back the way you came and do it very, very fast. The way I came. No, not the way. This way. Okay. Well, I would have killed you. Right, I'm man. not here! Bob, it's... No, I can't do it on a, on a spire. That's... yeah. I'm Sly Cooper! The master stealth dude. Uh, wait, how... okay, that's how. Aced it! I think you're ready to buy some stuff. I, I guess, there's nothing I particularly want so far. The Guru's walking staff must be hidden in their other cave complex. I've marked the entrance in your binoculars. Oh, we're halfway done with this fucking quest. Okay. I almost don't want to steal stuff as Sly, because it's just, it's so much higher risk and it takes so much longer than Murray. Only, I guess only do it if you see Shiny. Murray. <laughs> Marie's, uh, like, shakedown method is broken. He's not so supposed far. to be the best thief. <laughs> That's his aboriginal training. <laughs> he, he, uh, he trained with a guru, and now he learned that, like, yes, it is actually okay to steal money. As long as you have the power of friendship. That's what My Hero Academia has taught us, is that it, it's- it, every, anything is okay. Any murder or theft or evil is fine, because you're, you're- you have friends. And the power of friendship. Yeah. That's why- that's why the uh, Payday crew is morally good. Because- because they're all friends with each other. It's so weird that they do that with a group of villains. Yeah. Power of friendship. Yeah. yeah. The, well, what, now where do I go? I'm still sad they uh, they got- Spoilers. That. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just... That's a, people that's a do show. get got in that show. I, that, that's a show that's very anti-people, like, killing any anybody else. Because it seems like any time somebody kills someone else, it just doesn't go well for, like, anybody. Well, it's never, it's a show where it's something that no one ever wants to do. Except for yeah. maybe Bakugo, but no one will let him. And then meanwhile, in fucking, uh, uh, in Bleach, like, people can kill each other all the time, and Ichigo just you know, kind of is just like, eh, whatever. Kill the Hollow. No big deal. Hollows aren't people. What about Aroncar? They're people. No, I fucking kill Aroncars. Fucking, fucking kill, uh, 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 the fucking Vonderreich. Naruto makes a huge deal about anyone dying on screen, but off screen, there it, it's a show that like wants to be edgy, so it's always talking about how how much death is going on. Yeah, I mean that's it, it's be weird for a show about ninjas to be like we can't kill people because it's like because they're fucking like assassin mercenaries like. These caves have no but again, light whatsoever. They do body, bodyguard work, but... The guru's oh boy, dark level. Didn't, didn't fucking, like, their teacher just kill those, that, those ninja brothers back in, uh, back in Wave? But he killed them, right? Ninja brothers? Yeah, the, the, the dudes with the chain. The, like, the first uh, fight. Oh, the guys that, like, first attacked Tazna? Yeah, the first uh, probably. Thing yeah, yeah, Kakashi killed them. And then I think yeah, he, and then he killed Haku and and they they were just like, "How dare you? He, he had was a life. He had a life." No, they were just like, "Well, that sucks anyway." Apparently some people think Sasuke is the one who killed Zabuza, 
Like, he's the one who's no. got the street cred for it. Wait, that, like, in universe? Yeah. They're like, holy you shit, that's Z the guy who killed Zabuza! And then Sasuke's like, he's a fucking idiot. And he just, like, never corrects them. I think that's why people were pissed at, like, Sasuke, because it's like, why do you take the credit for it? Wonder what's so special. I don't think that's the reason people were pissed at Sasuke. Another booby trap. There's a lot of reasons why people. Stick? These guys are paranoid, and from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. Dingoes? Baby eating dingoes? Shit! Oh, they're not kangaroos. They're dingoes. Ow! As someone who has done those types of filters. It's a not a good reverb filter in this game. <laughs> There's an old reverb filter. We got access to, uh, to, like, better technology. Wait, who are supposed to be the dingoes? Is it the kangaroo-looking dudes? Ah! Or... I guess the dudes with the whips? Probably the canines. I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> Jump more often. <laughs> Okay, attempt two. Wait, where am I going? Why are you facing me this way? Oh, this is the way I'm going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jump more often! I am jumping! Damn it! They're still whipping me! Do literally anything to improve your situation! <laughs> I also keep getting knocked off! No, I don't need abilities! You what, don't need what, to spend what the money! Me? I guess the dive, maybe? Here, I'm not here. You're down there. I was blinded by my own pop smoke. Pop smoke, go. Okay, maybe if I focus on, like, staying centered, I'll get knocked off the track less, at least. Yeah. Maybe not. You're Get out of here! Quit being it. Quit being without receiving it of Indiana Jones's bullshit. Okay. I'm not here. Not here. I feel like the soundtrack to this game was just composed. Oh, without, look! More dingoes! Without regard for what was happening. Yeah. They focus on it, the soundtrack first. Like, they just kind of tried to make tracks that would fit any scenario, and as a result, they're only just kind of a little fitting in any scenario. Yeah. You think they use the same soundtrack from two? I don't think so. I think each game has its own soundtrack. I don't remember, like, any of the tracks from these games, though. None of they're them are, like, there. catchy. They're just kind of stealthy spy music. Okay, there's a Bentley. You know, disc. it's gonna be an unpopular opinion for for people who play like all the Souls games. I I can only remember like a couple. There are only a couple of standouts I can actively remember in like Dark Souls games from soundtrack, yeah. mostly orchestral. That ancestral like uh, spirit. That one stood out to me. I love that soundtrack. I showed that to you. Just fighting this giant, like, uh, like ghost deer. He's bouncing all around, and... Hey, Silver Ring. There's a lot of people who praise the Dark Souls soundtracks, and I also kind of just don't hear it. They're it not works bad. Well. Yeah, they it, work it, for what they're made for. Yeah, but... I gotta I, I gotta think about, like, uh... I gotta rank. I gotta do a ranking of, like, of, like Dark Souls 1 soundtracks. I've heard a lot more memorable, like, uh, like epic choir music, though. Especially yeah. listening to the kind of metal that I listen to. Yeah. It's to a point where if if I ever have the opportunity to do my idea for a Souls uh, for a Souls style game. Nope. By the way, the Souls style game that I I thought of, it would would be less like a like, because Dark Souls is like dark fantasy, and then Bloodborne is uh is uh like. Cause, like Lovecraftian horror, Victorian like gothic horror, and then Elden Ring is like slightly higher fantasy. I think it's actually high fantasy. Uh, you think Elden Ring idea... is significantly different from like the Dark Souls settings? 
Oh yeah, in term in terms of like lore, yeah. It's it's way more uh like yeah, it's way more high fantasy. Not, not not saying that it's optimistic, just that there's more in terms of like uh of like gods like being involved and like stuff like that. But uh I'd want to do a game uh where it's like urban fantasy slash uh it's like 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 sci uh, surreal horror. Like the idea of the game is that is that uh, an entire town due to an experiment is all linked together in like a weird state of like collective unconscious, the living collective waking collective unconsciousness, and it also tapped into like some other kind of like weird like like second level like dream reality. I want Sly to be able to like do stuff. Yeah, fair enough. The game uh, I the game title is uh, I'm working on is called Psychic Mesh. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of souls, it would be ego. You collect ego from defeat defeated enemies. You're, instead of being like uh, undead or tarnished, you would be you would be lucid. And you die rather than saying you die, it would say ego death, which is an actual thing that happens if you're like. That was the wrong button. Yeah, you, you totally uh, you totally threw a bomb into his uh, gold box. Motherfuckers are throwing bombs back. I'd also want to take an opportunity to try to, to do like kind of like four dimensional non Euclidean geometry level design. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think it'd be an interesting concept. Like, I want to see, I want to see that like a game, like a like a true like not like uh, people just kind of take some souls some soulsborn ID designs and just L one is your magnet man it can't just be like the same button as the other two looting well there you go now you gotta get used to uh I'm afraid I'm gonna like pop the alarm alarm clock at a bad time by accident. Nope. Uh oh, that's not a good landing spot. <laughs> <laughs> don't can't you just you don't you have boosters? You just no, he doesn't. It's a double jump. It's not like a jet pack. Well, you didn't pop your double jump. I I don't think. Leave me alone. Hey, don't can't you run? Sorry, roll faster. <laughs> Bomb strategy is failing. Bentley being the one who's least like combat capable is fitting though. Well, just just start the mission and and it'll be fine. The guards will stop. Yeah, I'm the smart one of the crew. Hail, O Guru of the Stone! Murray has purified Ayers Rock. And now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come. Ooh, da, da. What do you mean there's more? You are too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Over da, in da. Gadzooks! You can transform yourself. Why, once you change shape, a guard is sure to come inside and investigate. Hey, I've found that. I want my wanna. <laughs> Too true. Wait, Do you think he'll just like guard. speak normal once at the end of the game or something? Yeah, he'll tell everybody to shut up. Is that a joke waiting to happen? We're, we are going to play as the koala, dude. By not coming. He's got one. Does he have one? Yeah. I have voodoo oh, he's, vision. He's got voodoo vision. <laughs> he's looking through his fucking dreamstone. So cool. Where'd he go? Become sticks. 
attack. Master, you're the greatest. That jump's totally fooled. Once his back is turned, get on his back. Your powers to take over his mind. Ram him into the cell door. Is this mind control? Is this what it counts as? Yeah, mind control. Let's show these miners who's boss. Head for the drills. I guess Bentley's found a weak spot. Rock. I'm a rock. I don't have a square. I don't have like a whack attack. Okay, so you're you're. He, oh, yeah, that's because he's a pacifist. That's true. <laughs> Look at him waddle. It's so great. Oh, see if you can control that guy. Oh, down there, the, the dude with the whip. Oh, I wonder if he's got a pickpocket. No, probably not. Is this just all they do? Is they charge when you're on their backs? I mean, it gets you places. It's true. It does. It's very effective. If you can control it. Can Dude, I pickpocket as the guru? Uh. You can attack with them too. Okay. All right, I got a whip now. Watch out! Uh oh. Nope. Can you jump? I can. Oh, nice. Did he, did you hit something? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going? Uh, I don't know. You should check your. Uh... Oh. I wonder, I wonder how you can, like... Uh-oh. Nope. That was too late. Pop smoke? Maybe you find another guard and maybe jump on one of them. Oh, they gave up. Imagine, imagine playing as Rafiki in like a Lion King game. It's probably it. I don't know if that's ever happened. A playable Rafiki. Oh! I hear you. Those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Ram a guard into it, and the whole apparatus should break apart. Oh yeah, some things never change. Okay. There's Is a lot of there's a lot of sacrificing people in this. He's a pacifist. He's asking other people to give up their lives for him. Asking. Yeah, he's he's tapping into their mind and he's making the plea directly to their cortical stem and they are so inclined they can't resist because it's just such a sad story about the tale of like what's going on with his land? We're eco terrorists, right? Yeah, I mean, we got in order to recruit a guru, we got to become eco terrorists, apparently. Oh. Sweet moves, master. <laughs> Sweet moves. Who is next to devote their life to the cause? He talks like that because when he speaks in his true voice, uh, it, people can't handle it. It's like, uh, it's like, a, it's like using the word as a, like, uh, it's like Jesse Custer using the word in Preacher. No, that there was nobody must here. Must have been nothing. Must have been my imagination. Tony Rizzuto! Alright. You're good. Wait, can you shoot with him? Down. Yeah! This game is great. <laughs> I'm not complaining about the number of playable characters so far. Yeah. Like, so, so far I like who is playable. I was hoping we could play as the Guru. Not crazy about Bentley, but that's not the new since Sly 2. Yeah. I like the fact that Bentley, like, uh, had a custom wheelchair and he, and he became apparently, like, yeah, like, evil. These guys are hoes? 
Is that what Bentley said? Sorry, Murray? I think he said hosed. Ho. You hose! <laughs> these fucking, these fucking, like, uh, like, environmental trashers are hose. That's disrespectful to hose. Yeah. Keep it up. Bentley's got another plan to stick it to these miners. Head for that far rock. Okay, I can't wait. We get, we're, we're going to to go to his uh, to his training session. He's got to have one, and then we're gonna find out how to fucking pickpocket as him. Maybe we can't. Maybe maybe well, only the original three can pickpocket. I wish I didn't have to constantly run with him, but I guess then it'd be too easy. You're not asking me why I say Murray is pick is a pickpocket. Why? Why is Murray a pickpocket? He picked his. He picked their pocket. And now he's gonna take it. You think? He, what? You gonna stop him? Okay, <laughs> now get off. There we go. That now get off. Tearing up Wave Rock. I know it's awful. However, the link generator is weak, <laughs> easily destroyed, provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Oh, I thought we'd just bomb it, you know, with Bentley's bombs. No, no, it's too tough for that. You gotta have to ram up full force with the power of your of your mystic dream walking. Only the mighty power of an Australian is enough to take out that generator. Uh oh, I was gonna say he's apparently able to communicate with the others. On their like, uh, on their like radio waves, using his like fucking magic ball. He's 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 channeled them. You ever play attack game? Attack game? Yeah, like attack and the power of juju. Oh no, I haven't. They're okay. Is that any good? Okay. They're not bad. I have never beaten one because I got to a point of the game that was actually too hard for me. Like, too hard for you recently, or too hard for you when you were a kid? You know, I, I always, like, think that it will have changed, and it never has. Okay. So Maybe I can, maybe I can play it and prove you wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you I fell your... in the ick. <laughs> More ick? We're just, we're just eco-terrorists in this game. Our first two ones are basically, oh, they're destroying the environment. I wonder what uh, environmental catastrophe will be going on in the next chapter. So who else do we know we have? Well, we don't know, but based on what we saw in the intro, I think two of our other teammates are the Lizard Guy, Dimitri, oh. and uh, Panda King. Yeah. Panda is, didn't Panda King help kill his father? Sly's father? I How think the fuck's that he, gonna work? Yeah, he was one of the bad guys in the first game. Yeah. You killed my father. Why would I? Why would I want you to join me? Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. Thanks. That really means a lot. I like how if there's no like, fucking like head of the miners. We're just taking out this random company. All these other people are like, God damn it! We're still not done. Okay. The guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the dingo I miners. I think that was just Act One of Three. Of oh, we gotta order, take out the mask as well. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help. <laughs> of course, the always gotta enlist the local wildlife. To a local giant crocodile. With some luck, take a <laughs> the wholesale the murder. What are these guys' <laughs> body counts? Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least <laughs> the if we can clear them out of the seven <laughs> bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. <laughs> it's the key to getting rid of the mask of dark earth. <laughs> this is insane. Radioactive oil, we're gonna blow up their bar, and we're going to feed them to the crocodiles. That was a plot point gonna... in Dragon Quest Builders as well. Like, the idea that mining sucks so badly that having a bar to boost morale is, like, 
critical. Yeah, like mining is mining is a rough trade. Like, uh, miners... now we get. I want the hover pack. We need that. Throw oh. throwing enemies explode paraglide. Well, oh, you gotta uh, we do, got get... all the good shit after I spent all my money. Well, you know what you need to do? Just get Murray and just start shaking people down. Yeah. Rocket boots. Are, are these like the, the, the Ratchet and Clank jet boots? Uh. Okay, top priorities. Paraglide, hover, and probably throw. Yep. Murray, Murray has up. a job. Job, make it rain. Rainmaker. Get paraglide and hover pack ASAP. Yeah, I figured. Oh, it's no, right no, here. Don't start, well, start to just just walk around a little bit. We, we, know, right. we got tons of time. We got lots of mugging to do. Yeah, do a walkabout. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Why aren't you richer? He's a miner. Of course, he's not rich. They keep they they keep most of the profits from their opals bullshit. Any rich opal tycoons wandering around? Carmelita. It's a shame. Like Carmelita's out of here. Right. She'll probably 50. join us by the end. She'll be in our final team. Join us. Dude, Carmelita gets disgraced and she has to fucking, like, make ends meet. Hey, Croc. Like... Oh, wow. He had a seizure. No, he's not hungry. It's not dinner time yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Murray. I'm not here. Oh, somebody's discovered you. Damn it. Oh, the cash disappeared. Okay. Uh, at the other inside of the of the dead drills, there was a guy with a shiny pocket. Man, of course Murray so doesn't get a glider. No, he's, well, he does have the balls, I guess. No, you stupid explosive! Who's dropping them? Uh, I remember I was watching uh, uh, Rush Hour, the original. It was when Jackie Chan and uh, and Chris Chuck Tucker, that's yeah. his name, right? Chris Tucker, were like they were approaching this building, and and uh, 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 he his the actual line was, "This is what we call a shakedown." And as a kid, I heard, "This is what we call a shit house." And I'm like, wait, there's just people that they're just places that are just called shit houses. It's a brick shit house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is a shit house? Not like the how this house is shit, but like. Give me your money. You were in ball form. For some reason, I didn't press the ball button. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look it up. Shit house. Boy, this is not going as fast. Not a whole lot of people are carrying shiny right now. I need to go to the Albernax place and then, like, shoot at a crowd. Why am I ball? It keeps doing that when I'm not pressing the associated button. What is a shit house? Speaking of Australians, I love Chew. I miss the Yu Hawk Show dub. <laughs> Noun, a laboratory, especially an outdoor one, an outhouse. Two, an extremely unpleasant place. 
<laughs> it goes to a place, everybody's like passed out in front, there's like a fire on the roof, and everybody's screaming, and then and then Chris Tucker turns to, to Jackie Chan and goes, Yeah, this is what we call a shit house. I mean it is a fitting line. <laughs> I wish that was the actual line instead of Shakedown. Because... <laughs> I don't... No one's got any shinies anymore. God, you... We were too good at our job. Maybe if we could get a Marine job, there would be more, like, people with, like, actual cash. Oh, they like, they yell and make noise when you're carrying them. That's why it's like alerting the others. Yeah, which is why it's not the stealthiest uh, pickpocketing. Why'd you. What were you doing? What, what are you doing? There's no punishment for dying in this game, right? Now your cash is still the same. Shoulder well, buttons might be sticking. Oh, it doesn't uh, feel like. I'm not pressing oh, them at all. Yay! Yay! It's gonna be like 30. A gold pin! Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, you're at 300. Maybe it was like 100 or something. Silent. Shiny! I'm like good. I'm, I'm like the, the master of like detecting when somebody's got like 70! They, they know, they're like, okay, yeah, we know you need cash. Here, get, get some fucking easy cash. It's also, like, way more effective to fight guys in high places, because then you can just, like, throw them off a roof and insta-kill. Yeah, as opposed to uh, fighting people in low places. I have to look for a place to kill them without alerting other guards if it's low. Silver pin, worth I think so 50. disappointed. I really wish you could just fucking... Why is he ball? He just wants to be ballin'. Are you sure you're not accidentally hitting it? And yes, I am it? positive I'm not hitting the button. Like... Well, Let me try something once these guys are done. Alright, yeah, what, what are you doing? Okay, so jump triangle is the flop. Jump square is the flop. Jump circle is nothing. I, just, I don't know why he's doing it, because that's R2 is the ball. Maybe, uh, look, is it is this slightly possible you might be getting your buttons confused in the heat of the moment? No! Not even a little? Nope. Not even, like, the tiniest smidge that, The game's like... fault, bro. The game didn't read my input. I pressed shield. <laughs> Fair enough. No, look the other way. Turn. Why you got a buddy? Who's dropping Ooh. explosives? Everybody knows that that, that this uh, this company's going downhill, and they're just celebrating. You. <laughs> God, damn it! No, nope, I'm not here. Where's he going? Did he run away from the Murray? He did. All right. I don't think this is a good place to loot. There's all, all the guards are like in groups. Yeah, well, shiny. What? Bronze. That's fine. So, if we had to get one, would it be the jet, the slide jet paraglider or the. Yeah, the glider. Because we play as okay. Sly a lot more than we play as uh, Bentley. Yeah. And besides, with Bentley, you. You want to just well, actually, it doesn't. It, the person whose mission it is doesn't necessarily reflect who would be playing as. 
Usually does, but not always. God, Bentley doesn't, or Murray does not move. Time we subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous. I'm the man for the job. We're gonna Go feed miners to crocodiles. Miners to <laughs> this near this, this is evil. Crocodile. This is an evil act. Imagine, th imagine this ended like a way out, and Bentley has to inform the family of the miner at the end. That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset. Wait, does that mean that that he's a he's he's like an undercover cop? Even take care of our mask of dark earth problems. What else were you lying about, Bentley? I'm not actually crippled. Yes, I. I'm sorry. I'm Sly and Bentley in a fucking warehouse shooting at each other with machine guns. What is the right gauge? What is that? I don't know. Just the amount of, like, uh, kangaroos and dingoes that are... You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. More kangaroos okay. and more dingoes should do it. Chomp that clown in half! Dinner's this, ready. This is disturbing. It is. This is Dinner's ready. Like this feels so much more murderous than anything we did in two. We're, we're not the good guy. Carmelita, no, we're fucking wonder... psychopaths in this game. Was Carmelita right? <laughs> Bentley got like crippled, and then all of a sudden, every and, and, and then all bets are. Oh, that guy's shiny. I don't think I'm gonna have the chance to hunt shinies. Nice. You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. More There's so many. Should do it. Why is it? They're making this really difficult. Chow down, Scaly. <laughs> Later, sucker. Take a bite of this! Hungry little fella? Little fella. Remember to chew! The whips. The whips. Murray, you're a hippo. I don't think the I've ever seen- I've never seen a, the Murray drowning animation. Flips upside down because he's, he's uh, bottom heavy. Nice. You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. Four kangaroos and four dingoes should do it. Maybe, maybe you just gotta like, like, uh, like, kill a bunch of them and then yeah. leave one alive and then you gotta toss them. I think, I think that's how you're gonna have to do it. You have to uh, fight more. Yeah, just, just like, oh, he's dead. What if I feed him an oil barrel? Do you think he'll like that? It's called a walkabout, not a fuckabout. What was that fucking like, kangaroo do? That's right! Miners are food! You okay. like eating miners! Eat up! Yeah, he's already got a taste for it! Just feed them dingoes now! Miner flavored miner! Yummy! Alright, there we go. Delicious miners! They taste good. <laughs> okay, yeah. I I I saw I got I got why you laughed. Bad choice of words. You like that? Huh? I forgot I said that line! <laughs> I was talking about that. What was it you were telling me before the stream? Oh, these guys were watching this uh, this movie. Uh, or they were, uh, this guy who was acted in this movie, and he was playing like a, a rich student. Okay, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't say the line. What line? Oh, uh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the... the yeah. What are we doing? 
I, I was that's why I shut up because I wanted you to listen. Oops. Try the oil barrel. I think you need to grab like a specific my, like guard and then and then throw him at the at the crocodile or something like that. Oh. I don't know. Just if you see a guy with shake down. No, no. Okay. I well, it's like the dingo symbol, isn't it? Yeah, I see that. I think it's a specific one that's marked. Elf. Elf. I need, I need a, a, an angry teacher with a, with a yardstick to smack the desk go, Pay attention! Is that something that happened to you? Because you referenced that a lot. Uh... I see it happen to other students. This is back when I was a, when I was in Missouri. Bert, you'll need to sneak up on the lighter with a flashlight. Try to pay attention to in class, and you got all these students that that just yell and like dick around, and then and then and then all the, the entire class gets in trouble. And I'm just like, dude, I I'm already suffering quite a bit just don't don't try not to make it worse for me oh you're you're gonna continue to do that you're gonna and i i guess you, you bring him back to the croc what why are we doing why are we gonna need to feed him more expensive gourmet meals is he gonna come back to the shore if i bring this yeah he does yum yum wolf i guess We're gonna feed the crocodile the stone mask? It's gonna shit out of anger. Vampire crocodile shit. Hey, what are we doing now? That mask keeps getting away. Since when do masks get away? All for nothing! We killed so many people and for what? They died for nothing! The claw. Okay. Yeah, we got enough, two for, slide we got enough for the paraglider. Yeah. So. No, I, I knew we had enough. I was just finishing the uh, the Murray mission since we're not getting any his upgrades anyway. All right. While you uh, while you go and get to the mission, I am going to uh, leak again. Be right back. Uh, paraglide. What is the rocket boots, Elf? How does that work? This next is Juggernaut throw. Explosions does do sound nice. Okay, I got I got to sign a button to the paraglider. Uh press R1. Oh, okay. So I don't need a button. Combat dodge, knockout dive. Why does that use meter? That doesn't need to use meter. Come on. I can only use the combat dodge when I'm in uh, when I'm in combat. Seems like. Oh yeah. All right. What's the mission? Oh, I'm going to it. So the okay. combat dive is the same as the one from the first game. I don't know why okay. this uses meter, because that's not a move that seems like it would need to use meter. Maybe it does, does more damage than regular just whacking somebody with a stick. Maybe. What's the... Yeah. I also bought, like, the super spin. I forget how the spin attack works. Never mind that. Does the paraglider work? Uh, yes. Uh, does it work better than, or worse than the original? Does it work better or work? Oh, I don't know. I haven't gotten the chance to, like, use it from up high yet. Okay. I guess my spin does more damage? It doesn't look any different. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh, yeah. Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds like your thing. 
He's like way more obsessed with destroying things than in the last game. Oil, right? I don't know. Yeah, well, the I first game, it's a weird thing that no in the first shows. game, don't he was kind me. of like a wimpy Wouldn't dude. Dream of it. Then in the second game, he's like he's like completely different. And in the third game, yeah, they're all they're all really just like this trilogy, but edited with like a, a Breaking Bad style moral collapse over the course of it. Oh yeah. Season one, they're like using their kind of acting like like geez, they're trying to do something good. Second, second game, they're 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 kind of breaking. Yeah. They're doing some not great shit, but it's still to the end of saving the world. Now they're doing like totally heinous shit for pretty petty reasons. Well, they're eco. It's eco uh, okay. It's not that petty, but yeah. No. It certainly is kind of hard to justify. Uh, press X and then release it over the pipe. Like if they if they were doing this shit with like anybody else, I would say they're outright villains. Here it's still just like yeesh. This is easy. Oh. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the ten thousand model is the throwing uh. action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You could throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. The claw. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, because it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come! Oh, okay. Missed. There's also those barrels. Barrels? Yeah, to the, to the far left. Why'd you drop him when you... He's not getting up! This is, uh, I can't know if, I don't know if you can tell, this is a little unruly. Get over here. Who decided it was a good idea to use a claw machine as a means of combat? <laughs> have they ever played a claw machine? <laughs> I have, it's, uh, it's complicated. This is the you are getting way. owned. I hate this mission, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm supposed to be doing something besides, like, killing the guards? Or is it... I guess I'm just doing that to... I'm protecting Murray is all. Yeah. I don't see what you'd be doing. Chase deadly friends, minor guy! This still is also kind of um, sketchy. Oh yeah, we're, this, this is mass murder. Death by electrocution is. What, what are we doing? Okay. You better pick up the pace, Sly. Grab Murray and. Okay, Sly. It's safe to let Murray go now. <laughs> I thought first looks like you're gonna hurl him and do the electric fence out. Like, like what the fuck? <laughs> I think you could just drop it and I could take out groups of them. Yeah, there you go. Good, good tactic. <laughs> this looks so janky. <laughs> okay, now that you got it down, it looks kind of easy. Got another one going. I'm guessing you're using the shadow as like a kind of targeting reticle. A little bit. That's what I would have done. Murray, can you calm down a little bit? We're murdering, like, dozens of people here. You think that's why Carmelita is, like, extra upset in this one? Because she's realizing that the Sly gang have, like, fallen into, like, severe moral decay? Like, she's been trying to explain what a slippery slope these guys are on for years. Man, and then finally she's just like, these guys are dangerous and they need to be stopped. 
They haven't been the same since since Bentley got his back broken. Oh, it drove him off. mad. Nice work. What kind of morally dubious stuff do they do in two? Like, did they uh Uh well the first chapter was just like interrupting a, a nightclub or something. Nice work, guys. Now that all oh, yeah. the they stopped that, the drug trade, so that's, you know, noble. Two, where we light yeah. the crude oil on fire. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you better pick up the pace, Sly. Grab Murray and... Okay, Sly, it's safe to let Murray go now. We're gonna... No! <laughs> this is way more damage Let's to the environment than first. just... Sly. Drop a flint rock on the end of that long plank. Murray, okay, you'll we gotta, jump uh, on the end and catapult the rock to the oil wells. The sparks on the rock. impact should start a fire. Where, where's the rocks? Uh, I think I think those are the rocks. Yeah. Drop it on the end of the catapult. The other end. That's that that one. Yes. Here it comes. Nice. This this is this is beyond the pale, Sly. You know how much ecological damage is is going to happen. It's a good thing they ignore Murray, and I don't have to protect him. They don't want to fuck with Murray. Yeah. You know how many people he sacrificed to the goddamn like crocodile god? Murray has street cred now. They all got. Nobody's gonna forget this. Murray did, Murray did, like, cause a prison riot and, and murder a bunch of people. That did happen in two. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then... I want to say... Yeah, yeah, I know. This is, this is just, like... The Murray creates a hurtling missile of flaming destructive death! Was this like in line with Tony Hawk's Underground One and Two, when like like the Jackass era, when just hurting oh, yeah. people was funny? I guess so. I guess this is this is the most sociopathic time in American culture. Back when uh, everyone was watching Happy Tree Friends all day. Yeah, we we were in the era of violent of indiscriminate violence is funny and people and that was the that was I I want to say that that might have been like the closest time that moral guard like like. Jack Thompson World Moral Guard Guardians had like kind of a point. That was too high. That also that that's like that happens anytime you give people like unlimited control over like creative oh, yeah. media though. That happened in the DOS era was people were making like incredibly violent and shocking games just because it was an uncontrolled environment. DOS games? Yeah. 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 But then again, like, like they do it because it's novel and because it's not allowed in the mainstream game industry. As soon as it's also, like commonplace, it's not cool. Yeah, and also sometimes some people have have some shit they need to get off their chest. Also, like independent like games, as long as you're off like major like platforms, you can do whatever the fuck you want to release it. As long as it's not like literally illegal, like doxing people or like showing snuff. Oh, speaking of which, you you familiar with Hong Kong '97? Yeah. Yeah. With the oil it's wells alight, body. the pressure differential Allegedly. should draw the deep uranium-enriched glowing oil to the surface. You'll we'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Murray, you're fucking covered with it. I'm glowing. Whoa. Okay. He's got cancer now. It's okay, he's a hippo. Hippos are tough. How so you do hippos usually die? Probably not cancer, because they're wild animals. <laughs> Just checking. I know. It's usually poaching. Okay. Yeah. Do they shoot him with, like, depleted uranium rounds? 
So actually, I guess I actually make... that makes sense that it's usually human poaching, because what kind of wild animal is going to fuck over a hippo? Not yeah, many. Tiger versus, tiger versus hippo. Yeah, hippos are fucking nasty, too. Like, like they, they can... Not nasty as in they're disgusting creatures, just nasty as in they can fuck you up. Like, because they're big, and they got... And they're, like, just... Has Zootiers covered hippos? Oh, God, I, I, need, I need to check that out. I don't think... They, they've covered cats, and how cats are, like... Are broken when it comes to their agility. You really, like, this is not a generous glider. You sink really fast compared to other gliders in video games. Yeah. All right, boys. Best Move glider, probably Breath of the Wild angry. glider. Wait! It's time to or one for Far Cry. Do wild I'm animals not, sure not get I cancer? Can they usually don't live How long enough for that to be the cause angry. of death. Find the match deep inside yourself. I'd ask the Chernobyl what? animals. A lot of them and got, let like, the fucking fire cancer. Burn up your guts and boil your blood! Oh, so we're, uh, got, like, yeah, I pretty much do the just, same we dropped thing. a bunch of frames. Look, that must have just been an internet hiccup, because it's not still happening. And we'll do whatever okay. it takes. It's fine, check out the recording. The recordings are usually good. Alright, so we're at the bar. I guess we're gonna just fuck up everybody at this bar. Most, the most treacherous hive of scum and villainy. It's you three! You fed our friends to the crocodile! That's and right! do it again! So Listen up, dirtbags! Time to clear out! From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang Turf. Tough. Ah! Wagga! But you ain't got no Wagga. respect with us! We're That's... here on own around these parts for our drinking skills! Am I, yeah, am I gonna regret looking this up? I'm looking it up too. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, what? Three of lemonade? Us take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. Uh, Wagga Wagga is a major regional city in the Virginia region of. of I don't South think Wales, that's Australia. it. What's the slang word for? Other translations have attributed the word Wagga to meaning reeling. Okay. One with the drink. You Mash. The lemonade. Press uh, in any order. So it has to be in order. In any order. Okay. Okay. Yes. More. Come on, man. So we did, we're not there to like fucking like kick their asses or anything. We're there to fucking. It's, we're, we're just here to fucking, like, beat him in a lemonade drinking contest. And that's lame! We fed them to a fucking alligator! Like... Now you're complaining that they're not psychopathic enough. It's, it's, it's so weird. It's like, if Joker killed, like, 50 cops and they went to the cop game, to the cop was like, I challenged you to a game of Scrabble. Why, the turtles spill more than he drank. Around here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Let's just fight them now. Get on the fence, Bruce. It's time we gave these cheaters a beating. Oh, okay. okay. Why? No, why am I Bentley? Give me either of the other two. Just fucking fight them. Just drop bombs and shit. Nice hit. Challenge to eliminate a drink contest. We had actually, actually we had a drinking contest. They got mad, and so we fucking bombed the building. Sly, you okay? Oh, this is cool! Okay, this is the best mission. Uh, let me let me try my spin attack. It's supposed to be powerful now. That didn't seem that powerful. Awesome! Oh, you're gonna be Murray and you're gonna fucking wreck shit. Wanna grab that health? I didn't see that power. Well, if they're stunned, I can do the finisher on them. Good one, Sly. Good one, Sly. We cheated in a beer drinking contest, and then we just destroyed the building. 
I like how he walked in and is like, this is our turf now, and their response, rather than to, it was to basically go, I challenge you to eliminate drink contest, as opposed to going, you are the ones that fucking, like, fed our friends to alligators, you psycho! Do they not know? Were there no witnesses? Oh. Yeah, you- I, I told you that you needed healing. Alright. You have to press triangle twice. To what? Oh. Murray, wait, set, stop, stop setting yourself on fire. He's trying to increase his fire damage. He's trying to get rid of poison. Apparently there's a, uh, there's a spell in Elden Ring. You can get rid of, like, like, poison or disease buildup. But, uh, you have to, but it sets your, but it sets you on fire temporarily. Okay. It's called, it's called FLAME CLEANSE ME! It's high tier stuff, apparently. So how are you able to switch to Sly? Uh, was I able to do- I just pressed R3. Okay? Can I switch to Murray? Right R3. Lane, no. Wait, no. That's not what I want to do. I guess it happens automatically once you kill a certain amount of people. Okay, I know what will help me here. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm not here! Right. I don't think it's helping. Can I just let them kill people long enough to, for it to, like, work? <laughs> this is... <laughs> You have to press triangle twice. Oh, okay, I see. It's like a, a charge. I, I get two stages of charge, and then it does it. There you go. I get... I, knockout dive kind of sucks. What is this? I have the paraglide. Combat dodge. I haven't tried the combat dodge yet. Okay, it's just like a quick... It's quick like step. 90 degrees, yeah. Got that bloodborne. That yeah, shit. Does it cost me meter to do? It doesn't. Uh, either, or, or it's just very, very minor. Yeah, it's like I'm, you're out. I mean, it's a, it's a, it lasts a while. It doesn't seem like it's particularly strong. Well, you deal like it, it, it knocks everybody back, so. I do like that, that that it can transition to uh, your crew in the middle of combat. That's pretty that's pretty sweet. Can I go oh, this Murray, last... please? They knew you would want it. They knew to save Murray for last. Yeah. You start with Bentley, you kill a minimal amount of people with him and then. They just keep coming. You holding up Murray? Feeling strong! Behold my powers of destruction! Anybody up for a shakedown? This is what we call no. no, they, they all, they're, they're at a bar. They've all spent their money already. Can we shake down the till? I like getting passive abilities that I don't have to like assign to a special move button. Yeah. If, when I, if there's a choice between like playing passive and active uh, in games, I usually like nice passive work, more. Guy. So I don't have to fucking worry about micromanaging my shit. Oh, it's like a really good active. Like if, if I can shoot like a giant laser beam, that's a pretty good active. Most of the Sly 2 upgrades were not like great active abilities. Why are there drills in the corner of this bar? Or an electric That's... fence, for that matter. Don't whiz on it. You, you're say, you say to a bunch of drunk people full of piss? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying it. It'd be funny. They, they piss on it. They get, they get like, shocked. It, it... Looking good, Murray. Oh. 
excellent hit, Murray. We're done. Yeah. We killed. So we just killed 50 more people at the bar. Rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. There's a dude in Naruto who wears um, a wrestling belt. Guys, looks like they saved their big. Oh, nice. Is that is it? Killer B again? He's no, it's his brother. Freaky <laughs> spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That so is the spirit mask like the main boss of this chapter? I guess. Right? Like whoever is the bad guy. Like, we don't have a bad guy, do we? No, it's just the bad guys are the fucking aboriginal. Well, not, not, no, no. The miners. The miners, yeah. No, the aboriginals are the good guys. And we're and we're kind of just. What? No, let me be Murray. Let Bentley and Murray stun him. Yeah, so they're gonna do something. Oh, throw him into the bomb. Lead him over my bomb, and I'll pull get him while he's dead. All right, hit him. Puzzle boss. Will he walk situation. into the fire? Go into the fire. Come on. I'll try to knock him out with this barrel. I can throw a barrel at him. Go on, throw the barrel. Go on. Maybe, maybe Any day closer. now. Throw him closer, and then there we go. Now hit him. Now you hit him, Murray. You're stronger. See. Okay. It's... You know what? At least you. Know, at least this is more clear than the previous boss. Bob's ready. He missed. I was trying to do the. He won't do the the, the charge. There it goes. I'm packing Sly. He's over there again. And all right. Nah. It's easier just to hit him with the stick. With the magic stick. There's uh also a little bit of a damage sponge, boss. At least he's at least. It's, oh, it's way more it. straightforward than the last one, yeah. Oh yeah, we're just like kind of what the fuck are we doing here? He's not like countering me in the middle of my combos. Yeah. Ow. How much of Elden Ring did you see, Vinny or Joel? Uh, actually, I watched it. Uh... Ah! Oh! You got killed by your own teammate. <laughs> Bentley, you team killer! Actually, I watched wow, uh, Michael and one of the, like, Achievement Hunter guys play it. Oh, okay. I think I saw most or all of it. Lead him over so you saw some of the bosses? The yeah. Uh, what was your favorite boss that you seen? Uh, I, I don't remember that very well. The guy with the arms on his back? That's Godfrey the Grafted. Any day Maybe. now! That, that, that one's a funny boss because, like, in the middle of his, uh, in the middle of, like, fighting you, he gets pissed off at his own army, he just chops it off mid fight. And he goes into a dragon and replaces it with a dragon head, and he's like, Bear witness! That guy was frustrating. I'll try to knock him out with this barrel. I, I think I remember who you're talking about after that yeah. scene, yeah. Yeah. I remember the, the god skin dude. The god skin duo? Was there two of them? Yeah, there was a, the thin one and the fat one. You I remember the them. fat one. Yeah, the fat <laughs> Those guys are frustrating. Um, do you see Fire Giant? I, I have seen Fire Isn't he usually like the first boss? No! Fire Giant's like way closer to the end. Uh, the first uh, actual boss is uh, Morgoth, the, 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 the fell omen. That guy had a really janky, like, uh, like, I, I really just had trouble predicting his movements because he would go back to, to hit and he staggered forward as if to go, here it comes, wait for it, it's coming now. And then he, I could never dodge roll in time. It took me so, like longer than I, than I, yeah. Bob's ready. I see that Bentley, are you? 
How come you don't have time bombs when, like, I'm playing as you? Oh, uh, Vernalia, Queen of the Full Moon. Where you, where you fight and you just transport it into, like, a, a endless a lake with, like, a fucking, like, like, big full moon. And she fires, like, laser beams and shit at you. She wasn't the one with, like, all the acolyte girls crawling around, was she? Oh, those are clones of her, Finally, and yes. That guy was the mask. It's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask Smoking. is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. <laughs> Can't rule it out. I don't know how... I had assumed that to be, like, the final boss, but I guess that, that'd be too early. No, we gotta fight uh, Bentley with it on. Okay, they're using his legs again. You think we could finish this chapter? Yeah. Long gone if it worked for the corrupting influence of the mask of dark earth. <laughs> of course. It's the evil mask point. causing the, the, the miners to mine. Moon crash. Why we're gonna drop the moon on them? We'll need the guru to take out the gyrocopter. Why why is Tom and Jerry we'll music to playing to this? Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The Mask is left. sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. Remember when they got Goku That's to look at Krillin's we'll bald head to simulate the moon and transform? Yeah. And obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. Oh yeah, that's right. We're getting, we're, we're getting a team for the Cooper Vault job. Why, do, is there a reason that we need Voodoo for that job? That we foresee? I, couldn't hurt! Like, like, if I was working any kind of job, I would want, like, like a dude who could perform actual magic on it. Like... Imagine you're guarding a building, and you had you could like get a a guy who has the ability to like to like uh, astral project. And you're like that seems like that would come in useful. You're in. Like, I'm a chef. Oh, I, I wish I could have somebody that could like shoot fire from his hands. Oh, I could do that. You're in. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I know. Glad to hear you're up to it. What's the difference the between a helicopter and a gyrocopter? One smaller. Can detect your yeah, there's a helicopter. Stone. I suspect. But I think they're both they equally as dangerous. You earlier. Get too close, and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart. Okay, so we need to destroy a gyrocopter in order to... Well, because it's dropping bombs everywhere, and it's annoying. Uh-oh. Can I buy upgrades for this guy? I want to make him float. Oh. Oh. He, that really sounded like it hurt him. Oh. It didn't hurt him. Look at how much damage it did. That's true. Sliver. He is the toughest motherfucker on the team. Yeah, he's like... Oh! So you gotta jump off early before you hit the gyrocopter. Wait, where is it? Uh... Where indeed? <laughs> Aim that miner and then jump off with a triangle button. Yeah. Triangle you, uh, button. Yes. <laughs> well, it came back. And yeah, they just keep going. A couple more direct hits like that, and that gyrocopter will be history. <laughs> Dang old, heal me. Okay, so, uh. The, uh, the Arnett, Texas, uh, like, uh, hero. <laughs> Arlen? The Arlen? Is that the name of it? Arlen. Ar Arnett. Not it's, Arnett. It's not Arlington. That's like a real place, and we got the name wrong when we referenced yeah. it last time. Yeah, Arnett, 
So you got so what Hank Hill would be like the warrior, Dale Gribble would be the thief. It, 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 wait, no. They all they'd all just be various shades of warrior because they're Texans. Ah. Except for. Oh man, I I, I want to I, I want to see like a like a sketch where uh, where Hank Hill and his friends are all just act like like uh, fantasy characters or something. They're in a forest and they're drinking like uh, ale. I could see Boomhauer as like a support class. Yeah, I'll tell you what, dang old goblins are just watching around. They're, they're like burned down villages and shit. God damn it. No, get on there again. We're not done. Damn! <laughs> that was that was a, that was just a mess uh, from cover to cover. That's fine though. Still burning. Is there a better? Here's a here's a good way to get there. I'll tell you what. That queen, that evil queen, is planted something. I know it. You can't trust him. He lights a pipe. I can see Dale as like the wizard who's always making bunk prophecies or something. Oh yeah, but he's good at like actual magic, so they don't like. Would that would that make Bill like a like a barbarian who just wants to be friends with people? He doesn't he doesn't have his heart in like really fighting, and then Hank's the leader who's like no. That'd be more like what like a cleric class, cleric Bill. Cleric Bill. <laughs> I'd say like bard, but I don't think he's musically talented enough. That's that's Bobby. Bobby would be the bard. We're using radiation. Oh my god. The mask. It's sure to take the bait. We got a situation. Oh no! To finally manage to catch up. Right. I know what's we gonna can't happen. Stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Just go look up and be like, "Wide berth." Murray, what the fuck are you doing? And look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. She's not noticing the fucking like the radioactive oh, hippo in the middle Here of the I city. Come, master. Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can no, you it's... see? Can't tell from here. Yeah, I knew it! In. I knew this would happen. Are we gonna play as Carmelita again? Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, uh. you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. No, oh, she's a giantess. God nice. damn it. All right, what are we Bad doing now? Could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Karma Larja here? They will pry off the mask. Carmelita Grande. No, not. Don't drop. <laughs> you can move a bit. <laughs> Sorry, Sly. I'm not used to these wheelchair controls yet. Are, are they in, not in? Oh yeah, they're not inverted, are they? Uh, no, oh. it, it's fine. It's just it's so it's finicky. It's not very precise. Well, you don't need to be direct. I don't think. You just need to. Right? Do you need to be direct? I don't know if I'm hitting her. Zoom, okay. Uh, zoom out or just drop the binocucom, and you'll see like if you. Uh, Is she ever gonna like hit him? Binocu Drop the binocucom for a split second. Okay, you're not. You gotta hit him on because see how it's at 0 0.5, 0 out of 5. There you go. Two. Ow! Oh, that was. Wait, just one? You hit him two, two times! Fucking game. It's a good it thing is Sly good. is an expert at avoiding Carmelita shots. Okay, dodge! Dodge! 
Her shots don't home against you, apparently. This one without a time limit either. Just like. Well, I assume the time up. limit is slide dying, but that doesn't seem to be a threat. He doesn't have health. Like, he's got no health bar. Okay, dodge. Carmelita, you suck. What are you doing? Press X oh. for jumping. Okay, yeah, that's how I thought of it. Take the hover board. Okay. One more and then this this mission should be done. Or maybe we gotta like break the mask. I got four stars, Sly! Finally! The darts are starting to kick in! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> face? That's an emo. with the mask to make her even bigger! Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. <laughs> what if she doesn't? Are you still going to be into that, Sly? Maybe. Somebody's drawing it. Carmelita, do you like... Do you understand that you're, like, really big right now? Giant Carmelita. Oh, do you look, seriously look it up? Looks like she's up Those aren't the kinds oh. of results I was expecting. Oh, uh, you're up. You're you're up at Adam. Okay. Oh, this stupid thing again. We're throwing explosives at her. Also, I mean, my truck is being damaged by our own explosives. Yeah, be quick on the draw, man. I, that's why I was saying, hey, you got it. And you're just like... Well, I was doing very important research, okay? Well, your, your truck is fucked. I'm sorry. We're good. I just got to, like, do perfect from here on. Butterfingers. <laughs> this isn't a difficult game. It, this is abundant checkpoints. Yeah. The fuck was saying? Make him go. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was her. <laughs> Giant is carefully dead. Not Johnny Test, you fucking idiot. <laughs> What did he say? Did he say giantess? No, I said giantess, and, and then, and then the, my uh, thing said Johnny Tess. What do you think was like the last Cartoon Network show you watched? Uh, like Edit and Eddie. Before. Anything after that? Uh, like oh, you mean that network television? I didn't like. Probably K and D. Candy or Grim Adventures. After that, I just kind of lost. I, I don't know if I lost interest or that I just lacked black access to. Uh... Still growing. Camera angles. She's still gr Oh my god. Man, she's not she's the only huge. one. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are you doing? This is bad. We need a new strategy, and fast! Force just isn't working! Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. Oh, we're gonna climb? We're gonna do a fucking, uh, okay, Shadow Colossus? It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, Wait, did... and I'm sure you've always... It's good thing her clothes grew with her. her. Can't yeah. get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we'd need a giant fighting robot. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. The guru's like, the fuck did I sign up for? All right. 
Maybe this is normal here. Like, he's in the business of, like, mysticism. Maybe this is just Tuesday for him. Yeah. Wait! She's looking at the giant fox and then the small dude that's shooting at him! What the fuck? Are you out of your mind? I didn't hear what Bentley just said. It's fine, it's fine. Uh. Are you a zombie too, Carmelita? Oh, you can climb up her tail if you wanted to. Hold on. Alright. <laughs> this is the most fetishy this game has, uh, has gotten. I'm reminded of the stream where Vinny, like, un unawaredly started playing a game about, like, undressing a giant girl or something. Oh, yeah? And then he how, how far did he get before he stopped? Uh, he, he stopped pretty quickly. He was just caught way the fuck off guard. Oh, yeah. I, I remember when he was uh, in, in the AI dungeon phase, and then, and then fucking that... Like a just champ. Like a champ, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were you about to say what I think you were about to say? <laughs> oh, that's the place you're already... No, you're gonna have to transfer over. Alright. Hold still, Carmelita. Oh, no, I can get her hair. Never mind. I think. Yeah, you can. You should be able to. Yep. So you gotta go from that side to the other side. Because you got turned around. Uh... It, it's not off. letting me move my camera. So... If he stops on you, how much damage does it deal? I assume a lot. Bentley's so bomb did my entire health bar. He used the extra strong stuff in order to, like, take out your, uh... To try to damage the dude who was being possessed by the mask. <gasps> Are they shooting at her, actually? I don't know. Are they trying know. to shoot you? If they're shooting at me, they're not being very successful. Alright, we did that. Now what? Eh. Can we break it now? Oh, they're shooting at it! They know! They know the score! Aw, oh, they died. We're gonna be blamed for that. Oh no, four more for our death total. <laughs> Carmelita, Carmelita was like, there, how many fucking fighters did you kill? On the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Because her, her guards were fucking be dead. Real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty handed. The guru's like, what the fuck are you guys? And he's just like, all right. Morning broke. And we got a clear view They've become, of the like, frat boys in this beautiful. game. Empty of the miners that have been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. It was for the, the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member. And the team would never be the same. We're gonna pick up. So who do you think is next? Uh, either either Lounge Lizard 2.0 or uh, a new character the new. I'm gonna guess Dimitri because we haven't we we like rescued him in the previous chapter and that hasn't come back around yet. Right. Yeah, you're probably right. What is what would Dimitri bring to the table, though? What was his ability? I don't know. Uh, he had art, and I think he could like camouflage himself. Oh, I don't think I don't think he gets a darn. Aww. He can't pickpocket. <laughs> he hasn't he's, he's, he's that expert enough of a thief yet. Well, we finished all of chapter two. Yep. So hopefully, from now on, we'll be able to manage a chapter per stream. The first one was long because we had the intro in it as well. Yeah. Um, oh, also, uh, you should probably uh, like uh, get more cash. 
uh, from a previous chapter in order to get the abilities. <laughs> I think we'll be able to catch up now. Now, especially <laughs> now that we know like the value of the Murray. <laughs> Don't underestimate the value of the Murray. All right, we're yeah. done for today, though, right? Yeah, I think we're. Hello. I was I was fucking with yeah, you. Okay. <laughs> no, you have good internet now. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it for today. Maybe we'll stream tomorrow. I don't know yet. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. See you, see you next time.